Today we check out part three of the custom lightsaber build. Up to this point, we have a lot done, but today we get to build a blade. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So like I said, today we're gonna work on the blade. That's this right here. We're gonna take a bunch of pieces, put it together and see if it works in the end. Chris over at Sinister Props has been an amazing teacher and a trooper throughout this whole build. Let's see how it goes today. Let's do it. And we're back with Chris of Sinister Props. And today, this is making of the lightsaber for uh, part three. We'll call it part three. We are going to turn this here plastic polycarbonate piece with some sort of plastic diffuser thingamajigger inside of it into a lightsaber <laughs> blade. That's what we're doing, right? Lightsaber blade. We're going to make it, we're going to make it uh, uh, light up. We're going to make it light up. Uh, if you watch the end of the last video, if you got that far, I know it's a long one. Um, it didn't light up. It made sound, but it we didn't made it light go up. Broom. We made but it go broom. Now we're going to make it light up. We're going to make it light up tonight. So we're going to do the blade. We're going to rock and roll. Um, this one will be a little shorter than the last two, hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think we're going to rock and roll. So, so Chris, um, we're making a blade. This is polycarbonate, right? Um, what's the yeah, thing so in, what's the thing inside of here? It's it's polycarbonate. Uh, so a blade can a blade's pretty simple actually. Um, okay. Uh, a a blade is a polycarbonate tube on the outside. Uh, in inside of that there is a diffuser film. Um, so it's it's kind of tough to see. You know, you're yeah. probably gonna get a better view on 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 uh, uh, on Jim's end, but you've got the the polycarbonate tube on the outside. You've got the diffuser diffuser film, which is just like uh, I actually don't know what that's made out of. Maybe it's I don't know another kind of polycarbonate. Sure. And then you've got the foam core, right? Oh, there's um, three pieces so, in here. Yeah. Oh man, I didn't even notice. So, I see. The other foam core is short. Shorter foam than core is, foam core should be a little bit shorter. Um, yeah. Still should be should be long enough, and you'll see that. <clears throat> Uh, at least on oh. Jim is now noticing that uh, these pieces yeah. are all not the same lengths and the same They're size, not. Yeah, which means we are going to be uh, uh, correcting that. Uh, so um, <laughs> and inside the diffuser is, is, is these. These are the NeoPixel strips. Uh, and oh. this is a basic NeoPixel strip that will be cut to size and stuck to the back of, yet again, another what? NeoPixel strip. Um, and they're Which going inside of they're going inside of the foam part. Yes, we're going to be we're going to be running uh, a conduit essentially. <laughs> nice. <laughs> For Come all you me. electricians out there, yes. um, all my fellow electricians are going to be running some conduit here. So, so, um, so I was going to say so the ahead. parts we need are our blade, the diffuser and the foam, right? And blade? these are strong Diff blades, right? Yes, for for your end, yours is going to end up being about as strong as it gets uh, for oh. a NeoPixel blade. Um, you know, I'm not going to say you could beat somebody to death with it, but uh, you'll be able to do some pretty good contact dueling. The lightsaber that you also have, the way that it's constructed, uh, you'll you uh, trusting your own solder skills, your your lightsaber will be pretty durable. Um, so I know you got some kiddos, so it should hold up <laughs> to the kiddos. My my skills of, of soldering that we've seen in the last <laughs> two videos, um, mm -hmm. it might take a hit from uh, my son. That's two, and then we're in trouble. <laughs> but um, you know, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, yes. So polycarbonate is a flexible, uh, durable plastic, um, and it's it's the kind of the the lightsaber community. Uh, believe it or not, even Disney has uh, kind of corralled themselves into using polycarbonate tubes. Um, just, just a small little, little fun history lesson for anyone nice. who's interested in Star Wars lore. Uh, when Star Wars was filmed in the prequels, they essentially CGI'd the blades, the, the color of the blades onto the, the prequel sabers. For instance, like really? Darth Maul, Obi-Wan Kenobi, they would beat, beat up these, these metal poles. Um, and in the most recent series, they've switched over to polycarbonate. And they really? found out that polycarbonate doesn't really get messed up. So uh, ever since The Force Awakens, lightsabers, yeah. lightsaber blades have been made out of polycarbonate. Um, 
but in the prequels they were made out of metal and they were also made out of metal in the in the original trilogy as well um but in the prequels they would do a little battle sequence and then some guy would come in and change the metal blade out because they would bend the shit out of them so and now they don't have to do that they just have these plastic tubes that can take a beating and they kind of return to true form right and um, they can have they're easily replaceable if they do break right i mean yeah yeah a, a lot of the times when they when they break funny enough a, a lot of people have a big fear of neopixel blades breaking and jim now you will have the tools necessary that if a neopixel blade breaks or some reason the tube snaps or goes out most likely the most expensive piece this piece yeah which is the neat this the actual neopixel the actual themselves neopixel. will most likely be okay um and you'll be able to take a blade apart replace the tube whatever the bent broken part is nice uh and continue on with your day so um Sweet. usually something is salvageable whether it's the most people lose this guy this is the tip you, you don't you, want to lose if you battle tip. you're going to lose one of these you do not want to lose the tip <laughs> just, just don't lose the tip <laughs> so what what do we need to build this thing so um we got the blade we got the two inserts here you know the diffuser and and the foam yes um, we have our we have our neo pixels that are these. I yes, believe, I hope. Um, I have the tip. Don't worry, I have the tip. Tip. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have a, a little board that you sent. Um, that is called the PCB. I have a PCB board. It's a PCB. Sounds good. Uh, I forgot what PCB stands for, but probably this... permanent blend lightsaber board. No, I'm just. Uh, that's not even close. But yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, and then I have the I'm little sure the plastic B is aboard. I have a little plastic piece too, right? The PCB holder, yes. So um what? It is. Oh, look at that. This little O, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So taking a look at this guy right here, this is the PCB, right? Yep. Um this little guy matches up with uh the the inside of your um, let me saber. show you the let inside where we we built on the first we built that on the first part yeah here's my graphics wow you can't see that uh no <laughs> jim you got better lighting than me why don't you show the why don't you show the, the i the crew? uh <laughs> i believe yes let me look here I, I can um i think i can make that happen let me turn this camera on and let's see if we can it's is it's going to be interesting to see in there but so i have my uh my light my saber here, it's it's taped and um, needs some modifications to fit the bottom still because I need to sand it and make it fit a little better. Mm -hmm. But inside of here, there you, you go. Can, you can see the board down in here that we did the very first video. Uh, that was my first uh, with soldering skills, and you know, that's where this connects into, right? So, so that's that's the NeoPixel adapter, right? Okay. And so then that NeoPixel adapter and and if you if you watched part one, you'll see the importance of that particular piece. That piece has pins on it and these pins are kind of squishy. They actually have us they're spring loaded. Right. Um, and there's, uh, I believe, 11 of them. Uh, and they are three different lines. They are the positive line. They are the negative line. They are the data line, the data line being the center pin. Right. And so if you look at this PCB, can you make me full screen there, Jim yeah all right there you go if you look at this pcb you'll see that there are three even circles right and then if you look at the back you'll see um let's see if you there's six get pads you'll, you'll see well you'll there's really three pads it's just two two pads right okay so essentially there's a a, a positive line a, a data line and a negative line and then you'll see the data resistor right here, which essentially uh, uh, brings the, the data line down to the positive uh, frequency or the, the correct frequency um, that's required to be read by the CFX board. So okay. um, now I, I typically install this data line on there uh, because I, I have the patience. Okay. Uh, but if, if, if I, if I had, if I had not done this, if I had not ordered you with this already installed, Jim, that would have hands down been the hardest part of the entire install. I <laughs> oh, so it's already there. You see that? 
See that little thing? That's typically Holy. not there. In the <laughs> yeah. very center? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think it was yeah. worth the extra three bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I don't typically... even know if I can show it good enough on it. It's that little piece in the very center, right? Yeah, that's typically not installed. Yep. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. All right. Yeah. So in an effort you to save three dollars, in an effort to save, save three dollars, the... I typically install it on my own. Save the three dollars. Yeah. Save yeah. The three dollars. Um, so, um, nice. And then so we then we have some that's wires. What we're doing. Yes. So that's what right. we're doing. We're going to be matching the wires on the NeoPixel blades with the PCB. That PCB will read with the lightsaber, and the lightsaber will tell the blade what to do. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that this thing lights up in the end. Uh, it will. This is this is actually pretty easy. It's pretty easy compared to the other stuff, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Well, uh, compared to the other stuff and, and everything, the hardest part is lining everything up properly, right? You do not want um, you do not want any gaps between this this uh, this filament this diffuser right here. Okay. Uh, because right, because I don't know. Did you see this? Well, let's let's just get into this. All right, let's take this foam diffuser out. Yeah. All right, and yeah. set this to the side. Let's Give let's just get straight into this because this is what you're doing first. Don't mind me. Um, I'm, I'm I'm playing with my soldering. I'm getting my soldering iron ready. Um, we're talking. You don't have to get that soldering iron ready quite yet, buddy. Um, that's gonna, that's gonna be I'm, a little. I'm, bit. I want to whisper sweet nothings because, well. Yeah, I'm hoping to use power tools. Are we going to use power tools today? We are. We're going to use a Dremel. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you do not, if you're at home and you're doing this and you do not have a Dremel, um, Steve, Steve did bring a hacksaw and like this clampy you, thing that was pretty awesome. But I'm really banking on my hands being not shaky, and I can use a Dremel and not cut my fingers off. So. Yeah, so if you're if you're at home and you're doing this and you're watching this as an as an instructional, uh, when I started making blades, um, I was using a hacksaw. Okay. Uh, I use I started using a Dremel. I got a Dremel. I started using a Dremel, and now if you're really inclined and you want to do this in the best possible way, you can use a uh, a bandsaw. Ooh, that would be a band, better. A bandsaw. I have makes a lot of saws at home, but a bandsaw is not one of them. Yes. So, what, so what do we do? Cheap. I pulled out the foam. Now what? Okay. So now you're going to separate the diffuser. I want you to pull the diffuser out of the polycarbonate tube. Okay. Check. Sorry, I was I was cleaning up my my Dremel bit so that no, I'm, that's ready. Okay. I'm also ready to go. Should I get my Dremel out? Yes. I could use Steve's really cool um, thing, but you know, science. <laughs> Jim, Jim, how how tall are you? Six foot. Okay. Uh, so not what you said, six three. Me? Yeah. I'm six foot six. Oh, six six. That's yeah, right. Because yeah. we talked, you said. <laughs> When you wore Master Chief, you're like six nine or something like that, I'm, right? I'm like six nine and a half. Yeah, I'm pretty tall. Jeez. All right. Um, yeah, I'm an animal. I wish I was six three. God, that would be perfect. Yeah. I would fit so, in a bed. I would stop hitting my head on stuff. Um, <laughs> you could wear a new Balloompa costume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six three. Six three compared to me is pretty damn short. <laughs> what? Um. So here's a question for you. Why are we cutting it to begin with? Um, so for a couple of reasons. Yeah. Um, your NeoPixel strip is going to be really long. The foam core is not the same length as the entire thing. And yeah. you do not want a 42 inch blade. That is I heard, ridiculous. I heard the bigger, the better. No. Yeah. Sometimes it's not how big it is. Sometimes it's how you use it. <laughs> My solder joints doesn't hold yeah. up. I want to make sure I have something to make sure I can bludgeon somebody. <laughs> if the lightsaber phases out. Uh... <laughs> All right. Cutting wheel. Let's see. Reinforce. So... Which, wheel, which wheel do you use? 
I have to make this blade 37 inches long. Wait, there's going to be math? No. I'm just, uh, I'm just joking. Ow. I stuck, my, I stuck myself. So don't do that. Wait. All right. No, I have Where to make a 38 inch blade. Sorry, I am, I am, I am at the same time. My my example that I'm following along with is a blade that is for a, a friend, and he got needs it. it to be 38 inches. Yeah, yeah. You make Good sure boy. you've got that right. So I have a feeling, and that's that's really long, by the way. 38 inches. 30 inches is a very, very long blade. So really, um, really, you're six foot. Yes, yeah. you're six foot, Jim. That that socket's about. I would say we are going to make a thirty six inch blade. Thirty six inch. We're gonna be making a thirty six inch blade. If this if this puts anything in perspective, this is my graphics, right? This is my yeah. my creme de la creme. Right. Um. Uh, um, lightsaber blade this 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 lightsaber blade is 35 and three quarters and i'm six foot six. Oh, geez and that's long i cut this guy long where is all my stuff yeah remember that time i like i have tools everywhere and i, I can't find them right now um the dremel you mean you're looking for i the have the dremel i'm i'm just looking for a quick um flathead and what do you need I a flathead for? The... Oh, is there? Let me look. I left. What do you a... need a flathead for? To put my cutting wheel on my. Oh, dummy. No. Nope. Oh yeah, it does fit. No. Oh, you have one of the old school ones. You don't have one of the ones that like locks in. It does, but the cutting wheel itself, I think I have to put on this. Um, on. You don't have one, one of these. Uh. It looks different, but oh, it like it pinches. Oh yeah, that's that's just a different style. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have the yeah, old yeah. school one. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. I have the one that I bought at the store before we started this project, or maybe it was last video. I can't remember. Um, and everybody needs oh, a Dremel, dude. You said the Easy Lock doesn't come with a kit. I got Easy Lock. That's it easy lock. yeah no maybe i need to get one though right so i have one of these yeah why do you need to change that no the this wasn't on the shaft you want to know so a I, secret take yeah. your take your fingers like this so look i have one like right here so put your thumb on the on the uh the flathead Pinch it like this, pull and turn. Why? You don't you don't need a, a flathead. It'll tighten itself because the actual oh, wheel way. has grip on it. That yeah. way, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And then so we're gonna use a cutting wheel. So so walk me through what we're about to do. We're gonna measure. Measuring's important. So you, you have a, a a a tape measure, correct? Yeah, uh, yes. Cool. Definitely have a tape measure. So we're going to cut this blade to be 36 inches. Now, oh, now keep in mind, 36 inches is, is rough because you're cutting the blade to be 36 inches. No. Including the, the, the tip. Okay. And let's measure the tip. I think it's, there we it's go. less than an inch. I had to spread it apart. I had to spread it apart to get it in there. So this, this is a good guess. This, these two pieces right here together, yeah. the, the bottom is going to add just a, a hair and the tip is going to add another inch, about, a, about an inch. So you can, you can measure this piece right here. You can measure okay. the blade at 35 inches and make a mark. And then okay. your blade will be 36 inches. Okay. 36 me, inches is kind of is kind of long. They, what, what? So 36 inches. How? Oh, what's the standard? Like, what's the? Is there like a, a mathematical equation for sizes yes. of your saber blade? They 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 went off of how long? Like a 
how long should a sword be based off of your height? Add plasma. How long should a sword be in correlation to the wielder? You know, we're Googling stuff now. Um, yeah. We're Googling it. 36 inches would give me about I know it's, that much. I know it's very important for a staff, by the way. A staff should be like six inches above your height. Because um, I have... I have Darth Maul's lightsaber. You can see it right there. Yeah, that thing's huge. And for a guy like me, it's massive. It's like seven foot six or something like that. It's like seven, seven two maybe. Nice. It's huge. Um, uh, I think it's Katana. I'm going to put this in the end. Whoa, he disappeared. I think he clicked. He closed the window. Well, he's gone, and the episode Can you is hear me? over. Oh, what? What? Hey, Pat, Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, give me, give me, give me one. Give me one second. Whoa. Is that... Give me one second. One second. He disappeared again. That's okay, though. I. I know. I'm. I, can you still hear me? Yep. Okay. I'm just. There's somebody who who's gonna keep calling me. <laughs> all right and, how, and how when he calls me it messes me up do you remember okay yeah steve how long's your blade i don't remember he doesn't remember well if he ordered guy a should always paper, know how long his lightsaber blade is if he ordered a kr light if he ordered a kr blade so i have a custom very custom kr blade if he ordered a kr blade it's somewhere between 32 and a half inches and 30 four and a half inches but you got to account for blade de socket depth right yeah. here and since you're six feet yeah since you're six feet you got to be careful right because if my graphlex is 35 and three quarters and i'm six inches taller than you you i i think the rule of thumb is like i think if you like drop it to the floor like if you like if your if your arms are like resting if your arms are resting, like if you're just like if you have the sword in your hand, and you just like you just like are 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 whatever, it should barely be touching the floor. Like you should be able to like walk and it not drag and like clip the floor. Got it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but yeah. just keep in mind that like I know your socket is 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 heavier, is thicker, or is deeper than the graphlex even. Okay. And my graphics is pretty deep. It's like an inch and a half. So I if I held if I hold it like right here, it's just I mean, I can lean down and graze the floor, otherwise I'm just above it if I swing. So for argument's okay. sake, let's see where that is. And this is this is very deep. I didn't think we'd be going down like how how big to make it road. Uh, I figured there was like just like it needs to be this length, you know. You you really want this to be, the, but keep in mind, like you're building the lightsaber. It's your lightsaber. That's the true. The blade needs to be tailored to you. That's true. So if I want to compensate for something, it's, it's okay. Yeah, you want to have a forty-inch lightsaber. I just don't want to let go. All right. That so be like driving a lifted truck, bro. So I got twenty. <laughs> um, right. I got tw about 20, if it's right there, my fingers are right there. I think I got 28 inches to my fingertips. Yeah, 28, 28 inches to right there, plus yeah. whatever goes in the hilt. Okay, cool. So at the very minimum, I can tell you, you don't want to go less than 32. Okay. So why don't we just make a 34-inch blade? Sounds good. 30, 34 inch blade. You got an inch and a half. You're going to have probably at least 32 inches off, off the blade. 34 is pretty standard. Okay. Let's pretty do standard. It. Typically when I make a blade, it's a 30 or when I make a blade, it ends up being a 34 inch blade. Now the guy yeah. I'm making blade for 
just for the video purposes, a 38 inch blade, but that's because his lightsaber socket is like three and a half inches. Whoa. whoa. Huge socket. So, um, yeah, I don't know so why what do we do now? We need to get a pen. We need to mark 33 inches then, right? Go yes. To the tip. 33 inches. Somebody was listening. I was, I was definitely listening. This is important. Yeah. 33 inches because the tip is a one inch. Do you see this tip? Yeah. So oh, well, go, go ahead and measure on the outside. Go ahead and measure that 33 inches. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure. What did I say? 30, 33. I'm going to, right? measure, I'm going to measure 37. Okay. So we're measuring, we're marking about where 33 is. Okay. I said 33, not 32. <laughs> if you did 32, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah. And it and my mark is definitely scientific. Perfect. Okay, it's not at all. Uh, it's not even close. But I have an idea of where it needs to be. Right there. 33. Am I doing that yep. with all these? All of what? These two. two? Are, they for, are they for different people? No, I meant, I'm sorry, with the inserts. Uh, we'll get there. Do okay. not do the insert. Don't touch the insert. I got uh, 30, 33 measured with a nice squiggly line. Uh, I'm going to show the camera that while you're measuring yours. I already measured mine. Do you have masking oh. tape on you, by the way? Or do any I kind what? of tape? Do you have masking tape or any kind of tape? Uh, there's, my, there's my sweet line. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> like, yeah, so great. Pr professional tip is I typically make that line. Yeah. And then I take tape like yeah. I'm doing right now. And I mark off that line and it's straight. Oh, if you use masking tape, use you will line. get a uh, perfect line all the way around. Uh Oh, see that? Yeah. Pro tip. I didn't bring, I did not bring masking tape. Oh wait, don't worry about it. You can wing it. Blue tape, blue tape, blue tape, blue tape. You can do any kind of tape. tape here. As long as it's as long as it's uh, rigid, like I gaffer have, tape. I have gaffer, some tape. gaffer tape. Gaffer tape would be perfect. That's just okay. Gaffer tape's expensive, so I don't use gaffer tape for that. I just use masking tape. <laughs> hey, normally I have I I think I have blue tape, but I I was very prepared with masking always, tape. I always have tell. gaffer tape. Um, but I do. I have. Yeah, I do. So you said basically just make the line with the gas and then tape. as long as the tape lines up with each other on the other side you're good to go i use masking tape to cut straight lines all the time and paint straight paint straight lines really? it's its purpose yeah that's awesome that's a great that's a great maker's tip um right that is a good maker's tip use okay. masking tape use masking tape and then hopefully I lined it up and it, it you know, is correct. And, um, and, you know, people people in your audience should have masking tape because I don't know about you, but I use masking tape for print beds a lot. Yeah, I don't, but a lot of people do. I do when my beds, when my bed adhesion gets gets old and I'm trying to buy some extra. Not going to lie. My gaff tape is not straight. Um, we'll, but, we'll peel it off and then pull it taut yeah. and go around. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty funny because I went around and then I measured and I was like, that is not what I was supposed to get. I'm still here. Sorry, my printer started making funny noises. <laughs> it's like a ninja. You know, when your printer makes noises, it's like when you walk into a spider web and you become a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when your printer makes noises that you're not expecting, it's like, what happened? Oh my gosh. Got to fix that. <laughs> Quick save it. Don't, don't worry. I figured it out. Essentially, it was a, my creality was homing itself and it decided to not read the. My God, I suck. Okay. It decided to not read the, 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 Z, the Z home button and it just went click, 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 click. <laughs> that, that's, you know. That sounds like creality. It does. But you know what? But you know though? what? 
That's okay. Got to have workhorses, right? Got to right. have burner printers. And and you know what? They're going to, you know, any printer is going to have issues. Okay. That, I am measuring true. again. I am being way too perfectionist on this, but, you know, I am. This is, you know, if we can't even get past cutting a blade. All right, we're good enough. The, the only <laughs> thing you're going to end up being a perfectionist on is the uh, NeoPixel strip itself. Because if you cut that too short, then you got to go back and redo what you did. So let's not make that mistake. Okay. I, I believe I got 33. Now what? Cool. Take that. Put that aside. All that build up, and we're not going to cut it? Not going to cut it quite yet. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're teasing me, Chris. You're teasing me. All right. Now what? Get these out. Neopixels. Check. Yes. Uh, unwind them. Both? Both of them. Yes. Okay. Sweet. Steve's over here out. laughing at me. Why? I don't know. Steve, is this Steve ever I got done a sweet, this? I got a sweet... I totally just missed the trash can from about two feet away. Uh, this tape, the tape, this tape, this tape stuck to my finger. That's cool. All right. So last time we talked a little bit about a laser. Um, since then, I found out I'm getting a Mopal laser, which is a, essentially a pretty awesome fiber laser. And in, when I learn how to use it, I'll be able to do custom etching on these things. And I will be sending you a lightsaber hilt to be etched. Uh, let's, or, and a sharp let's make sure so I know how to use it first. What? And a sharp so that you can tie the laser beam to the shark. Yeah. Take over the world. I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> Vaults of Valhalla, I mean, he's absolutely crazy. Carl, right? Yes, Carl, Carl Danby. Um, yeah. Man, I. I have, I, 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 he's going to be making something for me and I was supposed to send him something and you just reminded me that I still haven't sent it. Uh -oh. oh, thanks, Jim. Thanks. Hey, um, send that because if you're up on his list and you missed your month, you're in trouble. You know what? Carl and I are good friends. Uh, I don't think it matters. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. But yeah, so we I got actually are in the month that he said. Uh, uh -oh. He said it. <laughs> I messaged him and he's like, no worries, because what I want is very small. It's the sleeve to my Graflex. It's the. Uh, oh, nice. He's going to make me a new one of these. Oh, sweet. Uh, so, Carl, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I love you. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> it's November. No, I'm just forgive kidding. me. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll get it to you. I promise. I'll, no. th I'll throw it. I'll throw it as hard as I can. Yeah. Um, all right, I got them unwrapped. Uh, now. Okay, so we got the NeoPixel strips. Um, yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, so one of these NeoPixel strips, you're gonna see that there's there's tape on it, right? There's 3M tape, and you yeah. see how there's like the actual 3M tape, and then there's like the little sleeve. You're gonna yeah. pull the 3M tape, I mean the actual tape, completely off of one of them. Okay. The sticky part. Pull that off. Oh, the whole thing, not not just yes. the blue part. No, the whole thing off of one of them. Really? The sticky part. We're not going to yep. double sticker, huh? No, we are not. Okay. Because it's going to make the blade too thick. Mm, good point. And then when you have to shove it through the foam, you're going to be crying in your sleep. <laughs> Great. It's going to give you nightmares. It's, it's a little sticky, but that's okay, right? Yes. Oh. I got some Don't residue. Yeah. No. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a... So here's what we need you to do. Now push. Now what we need to do is you put it back on. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. The uh, okay. Make sure. Make sure you only doing that to one. One of the strips. Only right? one. Only one. I'm just playing. Okay, I got only one. Uh, it's like only sure one, but you. only. Okay. Bad, do you have? Bad joke. You have bad joke. Uh, yep. Uh, do you have one of these? Yep. Of course I do. Okay, yeah. Do I need one the actual Creality one, or can I use this one? <laughs> <laughs> you can use whatever you want, okay? As long as it cuts shit, I don't care. 
Well, I mean, go yeah. and buy a pre- reality printer off of Amazon right now. We'll see. You, yeah, hang on. Um, we'll be back in a, in two days. Um, actually, <laughs> I, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I have at least four that I haven't unboxed yet for Creality. I'm sorry, Creality. If you're watching, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> now, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm building like four lightsaber. Creality printers that I, you haven't unboxed yet? Maybe four. Um, oh, God. I'm building lightsabers here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Un, un, un momento. Un momento. God, dude. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Oh gosh! All right, sorry. That was that was, my, it, that was an urgent lip. dinner question. It was either I answer it or I don't eat. Oh yeah, it. Um. yeah. Don't don't miss your dinner. Um. All right. So I got my snips. What are we doing? So look at your NeoPixel strip. The one that we just pulled the stuff off. Yes. Okay. Do you see arrows? Yeah. I see. Do you see how they're all going in one direction? Yes. Follow them to the top. Follow the yellow brick road. Okay. Follow the uh, arrows to the top. Got it. This side. If you do not cut the bottom of the arrows, you're going to cut the top of the arrows. Huh? Follow the arrows to the top. Okay. Right? Yep. You're going to find the top. Top, it doesn't matter if it's just, just just go towards the top and just cut the top wires off. I don't know what you mean by don't cut the bottom of the arrows. So if you follow the arrows to the top of the arrows, if you go all the way up to the top of the strip and you're following the arrows and you're not yeah. going down, you're not at the yeah. bottom of the arrow, you're right at here. the top of the arrow. Okay. Cut the top of the arrows. Yes. So peel back. this peel this shrink back and cut the top. Nope. You don't have to peel it back. You just cut it at the first available NeoPixel. Take this. Take this and throw it at Steve. Okay. So can I cut the first NeoPixel off or should I leave that there? This you can cut there. the first NeoPixel off. We're going to cut a lot more NeoPixels off. So don't okay. don't worry. So so if you're telling me I can cut it right here. Yes. <laughs> He's not looking. <laughs> yes. Snap. No. All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because if you would have cut it 10 down, it'd still be good. All right. So cut the cut the end off this end. Yep. Top of the arrows, throw it at Steve. Got it. Throw it at Steve. Cool. Um <laughs> what he said. Steve said I can use these wires. Perfect. Yes. Um uh, let's let's take a step back so that I can clarify to everyone who's watching this video. The man, my camera. The um the arrows are indicating the direction of data flow. Oh, okay. So wow. they are telling you that the, the data flow goes that direction. Okay. If you wire a blade backwards, it won't work. It would essentially be the equivalent of forcing water down a pressurized pipe that's pressurized towards you, right? <laughs> the water is just not going to go down. Got it. Right? So it's open this direction towards the arrows, right? The arrows going, flowing this direction. Gotcha. So, so when we look at these two neopixel blades, yeah, you want the arrows flowing out, right? Because you want you want the, yeah. the data you line want a to give to data go that way from the bit bend to the end. Exactly. Okay. Um, funny enough, uh, is a lot of people in the audience uh, behind you, Jim. You have neopixel lights that are lighting up the red and the blue side of your yep. of your cabinets, whatever that's back right. there. Uh, they have they have data flow. I mean they, they do. They uh, data flow flows in one direction. So you're gonna be receiving light lights or data flowing in, in, in one direction. And you'll always start the power off, at least the data line, on one side. This is a great look at, at essentially how, how that works uh, in in a, in a very simple form. Because sure. it's just a string of neopixels. Um, all right. So I got to answer another text, Jim. <laughs> Honey, yeah, I said mac and cheese. Oh. <laughs> all right. Well, while he's doing that, if you're just joining us, 
We are building the blade <laughs> of the lightsaber. We have officially marked it at the point that we want to cut it. We are working on the NeoPixel strip now. And uh, Chris, Chris from Sinister Props is walking us through actually making the blade to put on our lightsaber so we can light it up for the first time. Right? Yes. Yes. Nice. All right. So, so picking up where we left off, I want you to do the same thing to the other side. Yeah. But do not cut through the 3M tape, okay? So don't so cut leave. the tape, but cut in the same spot. Cut the same top, leave the tape. So you have, we now have one NeoPixel blade with, with 3M yeah. tape on it. Yep. And one that we've pulled the tape off. So, so do you want me to peel the top tape down a little and then cut it? No, you just, just cut straight through it. Okay. You said don't cut through the tape. So I wanted to follow instructions. I might have, I might have cut off but there, but yeah, cut through the tape. Okay. Just making sure, you know. So data flow up. Yep. So data flow yes. up right here. Yep. We're good there. We're Make going sure you're to, at the tip of the blade. Uh, yep. We're going to cut. Cut here, maybe. Okay. Nailed it. And then, uh, very important, throw it at Steve. Okay. We got that part done. Yes. I followed directions very closely on that one. Oh, All I cut of our the junk. End. We will be throwing at Steve. I'm just joking. Yes. I like throwing I have stuff. A picture, at, yeah. I have a picture of Steve over here. I throw things at. Um, yeah. <laughs> Steve, car, Steve, Steve five, is our guy. Five we throw foot stuff cardboard at. cutout. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Steve, Steve's cursing our names right now. Okay. <laughs> um, you just throw these at Steve. The next step. <laughs> the next step is going to be. I told you to have an exacto knife. Do you have that? Check. Okay. This heat shrink that's on the end, you're yeah. going to be making making a, a surgical incision. <laughs> Jimmy, and you're going to you're going to be shaking? <laughs> surgical incision. You're going to be removing the heat shrink. I, I'm I'm okay. over exaggerating. Just yeah, just, yeah, just do a little a little slice mm -hmm. and remove the heat shrink. Check. Remove heat shrink. Don't don't slice wires. I don't give a I don't I don't give a shit. You slice the wires. We're we're removing the wires. We're not using the wires that this that Adafruit. Sorry, Adafruit. Your wires below. Um, provide. Well, the truth is, is that Adafruit does not expect uh, me to make a lightsaber out of this. So Got that's it. the truth. So. I cut so, this little piece off here. Yes, and you should have, you should see the wires. Yep, and to do that on both. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just, just making sure you pause there for a second and. Cool. Do you have your soldering iron? Okay, hang on. Let's 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 uh, get the second one peeled first. Yes, I have my soldering iron and it's heated up. Cool. Remove the wires. Just put them on the edge of a table. Okay. Press your soldering iron to them. Remove them. Okay. So here's the uh, shrink. We got that removed. Once I'm you throw have that all those Steve. wires, once you have those wires removed. Yep. I threw it at Steve. Don't worry. Throw them at Steve. Yeah. Very important <laughs> part. If you're watching this at home, get a picture of Steve. <laughs> Yeah. yeah don't worry don't worry there will be a a um a 4k picture of steve in the comments or in the description of the video so remove all four wires <laughs> steve is like please god no <laughs> oh there will be now <laughs> so remove all wires yeah remove all the wires and and and, and we, we their, their wires are very um I like silicone covered wires for this yep. project uh, because they can be curled. The inner insides of their wires are very rigid, and I noticed that they break off. And you need you need wires that have some spring to them because your blade's going to be moving in there. Um, and so I use silicone-based wires, and I 
I give them a, a, a turn and it provides spring. You'll, you'll see when we get there. Got it. I got to get apparently. Apparently, what's, what's this app? Yeah, interesting. Apparently, I just have to give her. I believe in you, Jim. You can do it. <clears throat> I do, too. Wow, I am running out of wire. You know what's bad for a guy like me when I run out of wire? I just I think, start using all the same color, and that's how yeah. you know you're a professional. When you're using all the same color and the install still comes out good, that means you're pretty uh, good. <laughs> um, if I remember right, you were running out of wire last time, so we better get on that. I go through a lot of wire. Yeah. yeah. That was a couple months ago. I do a lot of installs. Uh, Steve said Amazon subscription. You know what's interesting? I'm, um, I'm getting this. I, I can't show it really easily, but... I'm getting that. What is going on here? I'm getting this wire off. Yeah. Slowly but surely, apparently. And and there's a whole bunch of like st wire sticking out of the white one. Like not, you know, we, we talked about before, don't let any danglers happen, right? And there was definitely a bunch in this one. Oh, you're talking like their, our, their solder? Yeah, their solder. Like their job was, was crap. Yeah, I'm not yeah. surprised. Apparently my job is crap because I can't. There we go. Yeah, they have two. They have two leads, spare leads, yeah. for a positive and negative reconnection, and then. Um. I mean, it's pretty intense. The the neopixels that you're using. I mean, they're they're pretty intense. Got it. Think about it. There's there's a hundred, or there's like seventy something neopixels in the small space. I mean, this is a high power demand. Okay. Um, okay, Got you know it. what we're going to do? What we're going to do is no. you're going to find the top of both. We're going to start with the sticky end. You got the wires off of both? Am I not yeah. getting ahead of myself? Uh, yes, I got the wires off of both. I'm just cutting okay. some extra tape off of this one because it was sticking out and bothering me. And that one's good. Okay. okay. Watching. So, make me big. Okay. I'm watching. Oh, I said make me big. Oh, make you big. <laughs> uh, I think you need another text for that. Um, hang on. <laughs> that one went over my head. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> so, all right. So what? What we're gonna do is I typically take a razor. Yep. And I, I take the sticky side. Yep. And I peel it, I peel the, the blue part back, right? I'm leaving the 3M. Sure. I can get it. Uh, I'm grabbing my tweezers. Okay. So I peel the, the tape back a little bit. And I'm gonna line them up. It's very important. I am going to line them up a little off center. Okay. Okay. I I want the I want to see if I can get the camera to see this. Do you see how they're like that? Yeah. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. That's what you're so going to do. Kind of every other in in the easiest yes. way to say that. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick them together and you're going to make sure they're as straight as possible. Oh boy. I'm known we're going to yeah. then pull down another couple of inches and, and you are going to it. keep them straight and keep going. Be how very you, careful. What? So if you do it like this, just because I'm watching you, how do yep. you cut them if they're off center? Uh, you just go through it. I'll, I'll show right. you. I'll show you. All right. I'm, I'm going to go for it. All right. So let me... Let me do this. Um, there we go. So 
what is the best way for me to show this? I'm, I think I'm going to show it just like I am right now. Okay. You want to so got... keep it tight, tight too. Okay. You okay. want it as tight as you possibly can. You do not want buckles. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, put them together like this. And you go all the way down to the and bottom. And just go and don't one do what I did one. because I'm not straight. So I got to peel up a little bit. Oh boy. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this here and show it so um so when you get to the joint when you get to where it's there's two it's essentially two strips soldered together yeah be careful because sometimes they're not soldered together straight and you might have to correct a little i don't bit. know i don't, that, know, I don't know what you're doing uh, you'll, you're gonna you'll find it when you when you keep going down you're gonna run into a soldered a solder joint where they soldered two strips together okay and just make sure that you're you're like making sure that they're realigned because for instance mine went off center because my two strips weren't perfectly aligned and and by off center you mean sometimes they're just a little bit crooked okay so they're not flush on top of each other yeah gotcha okay i'm gonna go for this um it is not the easiest thing in the world to show no it's pretty tough to show because but i think i think that the, the little visual that i gave yeah earlier, that was perfect you did pretty great. good and i think you get the idea and you just once you're done what i do is i take my my thumbs and i just kind of straighten the whole thing out make sure it's all stuck together and then i let it drop we're good and then i take this blue thing the blue trash yeah I'll throw and it bundle it up in a nice little ball and i throw it in speed that's the best i like this game this is my, this is my favorite, <laughs> favorite game so far. It's called Throw at Steve. Uh oh, I don't know how to do this without. So you started a little offset. Yeah, about a pixel offset, so yep. that the gap area between the two pixels, mm -hmm. there's a pixel on the other side. So yep. this this reduces what is called what the community calls corn cobbing. Uh, and honestly, there I can't think of a better like metaphor for what it is. You know, if you look at the blade, you can see that there's neo pixels and there's a small gap in between them. Right. And and, and there's there's something. It's called corn. It looks like a corn cob. It, there's there's like you know, if you're looking at a corn cob, it's not a solid object. There's like little pieces. And this this helps mitigate that. And that's what the diffusion does too. The diffusion, the, the foam core. Yeah. And the diffusing film and the blade yep. itself. There's a reason that your polycarbonate blade is is like a cream color. Right. It's because it's all meant to diffuse the blade so that it looks like one solid bar. Um but still, I mean you still will see we'll still it's called there's a dark spot. It's a slightly dark spot. Got it. So in the lightsaber world, diffusion is king. Anytime you can diffuse something. It means it looks even. I like it. Now, I watched a couple of videos before this, admittedly. Okay. Um, and people had different methods for this, right? There's a uh, lot of different methods to do this. Oh, shit. Um, what? I've got to make sure the arrows are the same way, right? Yes. Oh, no. Are they not? They're not. Bro. Wait. Start over. Quick. Or it's too sticky. I thought I had them the same. I thought I had them the same way. I swear I did. All right. All right. You know what I did? I put it. I, yeah, <laughs> I put it up. I I went to. I think I put it up here to try to film, and I flipped them. I flipped them around. Because I'm a genius like that. You know, I just wanted that dramatic effect. Yeah, I was too worried. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I was too worried about throwing stuff at Steve. He said. Oh. Well, maybe, yeah. you know, Steve, maybe we throw more stuff at Steve. Maybe. I think you're right. I just, um, I think what I did is I flipped them around to try to get them up here by the camera. And I twisted one of my hands this way to put them together. And I didn't twist the other hand. I'll have uh, to go back and I'll have to go back and consult the film. But I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I did. Because I, then I started looking at the arrows when I was doing this. And I'm like, hang on. So 
this is exactly why we're doing this though. I mean, we're learning from mistakes and we're learning, uh, in some cases the hard way, right? I can tell you that I, I personally have installed a lightsaber blade with one side of the arrows going the wrong way. Yeah. Looks funky. It didn't work, did it? Or one side? One side works, the other side does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I've now had a both... customer I've had a customer hit me up and say, Hey, my blade's not working. And I go, Hey, did you check the arrows? They check the arrows and indeed they go in the wrong way. Flip it around and boom, there you indeed. go. Yeah. So at least I caught that now. Yeah. Gregory, you're probably watching this video. Yeah. And I'm talking Greg's... about you. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave that in. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you will. Um, I don't think we're doing much editing to these. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going for it. This is, this is raw, uncut. We're learning as we go. Otherwise, I would look like I was a genius by the end of this. And really... I mean, I pretty much messed up everything uh, that you could mess up. I broke the chassis the first video. That's funny. <laughs> Didn't get... Magically, it's a different color. Could you imagine? They're like, wait, did the chassis change color? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> continuity error. There was a glitch in the matrix. Yeah. It's the sun. It's the, sun. It's the lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I thought it was black. No, it's definitely gray. Yeah. It's two different no, colors. No, wasn't your first one? Your first one was blue. Yeah, it was probably blue. Yeah. It was like light blue. Yeah, Aurora Borealis, Steve said. All right, I, I'm going to throw that at Steve. Hang on. Let me just double check my arrows. We're going up. Woo! Yep. No one saw that. I'm just pressing. I'm doing a little press. Yep, this is I just dragged steel. my thumb. You must have serious thumbs because that's like a cheese grater. Um, I got pretty rough hands. Used to be a rock right. climber, so my hands are pretty tough. Well, I mean that's because you can climb a rock in two, you know, two pushes because you're seven feet oh, tall. Yeah. All right, <laughs> good. <laughs> good. All right, we're good. <laughs> now what? Um, he's like, see Mount Everest. Three jumps. Watch this. Three pulls. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The crux was the start. Um, <laughs> okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut this. Uh, we're gonna leave this. We're gonna leave this for right now. I just wanted these to be stuck together. So we're gonna go back to the blade. Okay. I just picked up an existing blade. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so this is the strip I just made. I want to show everybody how kind of big it is there. Yep. The arrows are correct. It's arrows far too correct. long. I mean, that depends on who you talk to, but, you know. I can see that there's a couple couple little spots in here that are not perfect now it's that okay, I'm looking matter. at it closer. But I'm okay with that because not perfect is what makes it mine. Mine, and, is, uh, um, mine is crooked, you know. I mean, that's a common crooked thing. Is, sorry. Crooked is okay. Yeah. All right, what are we doing with the blade? <laughs> oh, God. Slightly, so take slightly, a tip. slightly to the right. Um, you're gonna take it. You're, take, you're gonna take a tip. Yeah, <laughs> the crooked tip. And you're gonna you're gonna shove it into the the, the top. So push the push the find a side the, and just put the tip in. The, t <laughs> the top is, I'm guessing the not the side we're cutting off. Yes. Yes. So let me just do this again. So we're gonna take the tip here, right? Well, well, funny, funny enough that you say that because whatever side you cut, you probably want that. To, whatever side you do not cut, you probably want that to be the bottom. You want the bottom to be as flat as possible. Got it. So you can put the tip in either either side. Got it. Uh, it's in. I would I would prefer it to be the other direction though, that where the top where the tip would actually normally sit. Yeah. Um. Or sorry, the bottom would sit. So what the reason we're doing that is because we're making sure that we, we've we got a difference here, okay? So the tip is in one side, and then you'll see that it'll push the diffuser out of the bottom side, right? Okay. Well, I don't have mine in there anymore, okay. but yeah. You need the diffuser in there, put it in there. It's the whole reason we're doing that. Not the foam. Yep. Yep. 
Okay. That was a great visual. Um, so now we're going to get our Dremel out, which means we're probably going to mute our mics. <laughs> okay. With the diffuser in there all the way, <laughs> press to the end. I want you to cut along your line all the cut. way through. Cut the diffuser too. Uh, well, cut the blade as well. You're going to cut the polycarbonate tube and the diffuser. At our line. Yes, leave the tip in there. Leave and the by the way, put your chip, when you put your chip in the end, give it a, a nice little smack on the ground. Okay. Make sure you push the diffuser back in there. And then get your Dremel out. Okay. I smacked her. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna mute my mic. Yeah, this is a I'm good idea. Put on my I'm gonna put on my PPE. Yeah, good idea. PPE. Okay. I'm I'm watching. Hang on, I'm gonna make you big. He his mic is muted. He cannot talk back now. <laughs> We're gonna watch the uh, the master cut. Maybe I should use the clamp. <laughs> I don't think you can hear us right now. Blink twice if you can. Are you held hostage out of your will? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was easy. That was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So keep in mind when I do this, there's going to be a lot more dremeling before you, you stop this. So keep in mind when I do this, I am putting the Dremel in place and I am turning the tube, not the Dremel. I am not rotating the Dremel. I am. I get what you're saying. Um, he got a. Don't worry. His food is here. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, wait. Yep. <laughs> that was my mom that time. Uh, I was um, like, don't worry. His food just got here. He'll be back in 30 nope, minutes. That was my mom. No. Yeah. Uh, Mom, so put the, the meatloaf. Dremel in place. I put the <laughs> mom, meatloaf, mom, bathroom. Uh, so, <laughs> Dremel, Dremel in place, cut. So I Dremel in place, and I turn the the um. I turn what, the tube. What could oh, go wrong here? Where did my Where did my tip go? Oh, I'm right here. Oh, uh, I hate when your tip falls off. I know. Your so, Dremel must not be as fat as mine because it doesn't rest up against the. What? All right, my my Dremel body. You got a fat Dremel? I got yeah. See, let me, <laughs> let me just show. see. Oh, you have a handheld thing. Oh, I have the little extender. Oh, freaking fancy, fancy well, I pan. Mean, I practically live where I'm sitting, so. Yeah, I, I suppose. Uh, yeah. What do you mean you got the? He's got the handheld thing. He says. Yeah. It's all about it's all about length. We talked about this earlier, Jim. It's all about yeah. length. Yeah. Oh, Steve over here what? is saying the benefit of the easy lock ones that is that the blade's a bigger diameter, so you get around a fat Dremel handle. <laughs> well, also, the, the, the little extender thing that I have is very thin. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to attempt this somehow. The problem I'm having here is that it, it's angled, right? If you angle it, it's fine because you're gonna probably take the Dremel wheel, wheel, wheel anyway and go. Okay. If it's angled, it's don't worry about it. Just cut it for now. Fingers crossed. Now this this is the easy part, right? Well, while you're doing that, Jim, I'm gonna respond to my mom. Hold on a second. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. Uh, let's let's show everybody that I cut my fingers off. Um, that's not true. It's just, here we go.
Alright. How's your mom? My mom's great. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what I was thinking. No. I opened up the door and I yelled at her, you know, just from the basement. <laughs> Don't worry. This is going to be the cleanest cut I've ever done on a, on a lightsaber blade. Yours went much smoother. <clears throat> so this is uh, not the first blade I've made. So. How thick is this thing? What? I'm joking. I said, how thick is this thing? One inch. <laughs> yeah. The smell of burning polycarbonate in the studio. I have dandruff hair now, pretty much. But it was worth it. Is huh? polycarbonate toxic? Probably. <laughs> um, I should probably blow my nose. But... <laughs> Here. Oh, yeah. I do nasal rinses all the time, dude. Um, not bad? Could be better, but it's not bad. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna need a vacuum. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna get worse. Um, it's okay. It's gonna get so worse. So now I want. <laughs> now I want you to remove that tape. <laughs> remove the tape. Yes. Hang on. I'm. Getting polycarbonate out of my nose. Uh, currently. Yeah, I'm going to go home. I'll get pulled over and they're like, sir, there's white powder up your nose. I promise it's polycarbonate. That's a new one. All right, tape oh, removed. Take it down to the I mean, it is probably door. the cleanest um, Dremel cut I've ever done on a lightsaber. So take the diffuser out. Okay. Set that aside. Get your sanding block out. Hang on. Uh, Hopefully this doesn't disturb the uh, audio, but i got to turn up my uh, purifier here. All right. Your, your air purifier? Yeah. Yeah, I, Tur have, I, take have a fatty, I got a fatty one back here. Huge one. Take the diffuser I, out? I do this stuff all the time, so I keep the air pretty clean. Take the right. diffuser out. Get yeah. your sanding block yep and just kind of clean it up a little bit okay what grit are you using there uh, uh sandpaper <laughs> sanding grit 120 <laughs> uh it's rough, i'm using actually. sanding grit yeah <laughs> i just i got what i got are these really cool um block sander um like these yeah I really yeah. like these for a lot of projects, but I have multiple, like this is the 120. I have multiple different um, uh, grits and, you know, so these can be wet or dry. All right. So what are we, what are we sanding? Yeah. You're, you're just sanding the end quick. I also take my razor, my exacto knife. Just really quick. Yeah. Just, just, just clean the dirty pieces off. Uh, I take my exacto knife and I just kind of go in the inside here. Okay. I do it this direction though. Should I use an exacto knife or yeah, it's just to get like kind of deburr it, right? Yes. And then I swing it like this to get all the shit out. <laughs> this is a family channel. <laughs> get all the junk out sorry i can't make it whistle but all right so um i'll wash this off later i got a little marker still on here but we got it sanded i got around the edge a little bit got the inside edge so it's pretty much not buried there and yeah so so there there if you look down the if you look down it you might see yeah. some polycarbonate stuff which is what i was talking about which is why i say kind of just fling it if you can and believe it or not that kind of actually gets it out um so you just get as much out as you can because if not those spots are going to show up 
when the blade well, lights up. Can I yank my tip and blower on her? Do not do that because if you do that, you're going to put saliva down there. Well, son of a gun. I really wanted to blow in it. Yep. <laughs> I guess we're, we're not to the point of getting some good saliva in your tube. If you do this, it will work for the big stuff. But I, I, I promise you that if you take the end of it and you do look at me. Yep. See how I'm just doing this? It'll come out. Centrifugal I'm just forces. Not to hit anything. There's lights well, and you know. Then get close to the steam, and if you hit him, <laughs> <laughs> we just. Then we're on par. But yeah, it's it, it's centrifugal force that's going to force those things out of there, right? It's so mostly, I see a little bit. Yeah, you'd be surprised how well that works. Um, okay. Okay. Now so you can all see we, in my tube. Hang on. So we've got the tube. Yep. Um, the tube is good. Poly, polycarbonate right? everywhere. Yep. Yes. Now we to get to hair. play fun. Now we get to start playing the fun guessing game. Okay. Oh gosh. So let me. Let me go back here. What's the guessing game? So now we are going to take the tip off the other end. Okay. And put it on the side that we just cut. Okay. And just uh, pop it on. See what we just did? Take the tube off the other end, put it on the, the side tip. we just cut. Okay. Okay. Pop Put it on. Saber over. And now you have a flat side on this side. Yep. Take the tube, the diffuser tube, stick it back down there. All the way to the bottom. Where's my diffuser? Oh, this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoops. Whoa. Whoa. My oh, bad. The, meat, the meatloaf. Uh, wow. here it is. I was trying to open up a drawer and it just pulled my right. charging cable off. Diffuser um, tube in, and I put the cut end in so it would be flat on this side too, right? Yes. And then I take this piece, yep. the yep. PCB holder. Yeah. And I hold it, I hold it kind of flat right here. So your your diffuser film should be flush. Yes. With your blade, correct? Is yours yep. flush with your blade? Looks like it. Because if yours isn't, like mine isn't, for some stupid reason, you can take your X-Acto knife and you can actually whittle it away like this. Okay. Yeah, I have, I have, um, it's, it's flush. Okay, mine is not, so give me two seconds while I remedy this I'm showing problem. this camera like, like this camera's on, but it's not. <laughs> um. Yeah, give me two seconds while I while I remedy this issue. Uh, keep in mind, you can cut the diffuser the diffuser uh, with an exacto knife. It's pretty easy okay. to cut. So if you if you make an error, you can do that. So now we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. We're gonna put this right here with the lip. Oops, I dropped okay. it. Okay. Right here with the lip. Yeah. What that means now is you're gonna pull the diffuser film up. Okay. Because you know that it has to go this far. Okay. Right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to push it down like that. Did you see okay. what I just did? Yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. Make yeah, make make yep. me big, make me big, so we can show the that boys. That was a that was a big. That was oh, you you were like, oh yeah. yes, yeah, yes. Yes, I'll make you. I'll make you big just because. Let's do that again. There you go. Oh, hang on. You muted me. How dare you? Sorry, wrong um, button. Okay, so your blade. Yep. This part we know is flat because that's how it came, right? Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this up like this. We know that the the diffuser has to go this. This far, this far. 
from here, from the lip to the end. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the lip and you're gonna pop it right here and you're gonna push it down until it meets the end. That's how much you have to cut off. So keep me, keep me, keep me big. But what I typically do is I take uh, my handy dandy Mewtwo pencil and yeah. <laughs> I draw a very fine pencil line right here so that I know that there's a line right here. And then do not use your Dremel. I use my X-Acto knife and I just cut it right there. Don't cut your finger off like I almost just did. Don't cut your finger off. Word of advice. So I cut it with an X-Acto knife instead of using the Dremel because the diffuser is easily cut. Always cut away from yourself. Yes. I've almost, I've almost cut my finger off, so I'm just speaking from experience here. Yeah, always, always cut away from or down towards the table, right? Yeah. You make it look so easy. I just took a huge accidental chunk off, but it doesn't matter because it's at the end. And when you put the blade on. That's my new band name, Accidental Chunks. When you put the, when you put this end on, you should be able to go like this. You should be able to shake it back and forth and hear nothing. Nothing. If you hear Why something, not? if you hear something, you've done this process wrong. <laughs> Why? Because that means your diffuser film is banging back and forth. Oh. And if you've done that wrong, that means that you actually actually have to make your blade shorter than you wanted to. Um, it's not the end of the world, so don't cry about it. And all you Got do it. is you take your sandpaper and you just kind of, kind of go back and forth until you're this part now, portion. Can you can you use the sandpaper on that diffuser? You can. I wouldn't do that because it's pretty fragile. You might put a kink in or bend in it. That, you know, I like your style. If you, if you don't do here. a clean cut at the end, as long as it's flat, it doesn't matter because all of that portion is going to go into your blade socket anyway. No one's okay. going to see the end of your blade. Got it. So just keep that in mind. There's going to be about a, a, a half an inch where it doesn't matter if you messed it up or it looks ugly or you got to sand it or whatever. Got it. It'll work. Yep. So, so I should be able to push it in. Let me, you know, let me make you not big anymore. Yeah. I don't um, need to be center of attention. Uh, we were learning. So I push it in like that. Yep. Okay. And then. You good? I don't know. Am I good? There, there are also, if you, if you, if you've got the piece for in, if you've got the piece in, there shouldn't be a gap between the actual blade and the adapter either. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. 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 So. So you're saying it should be flush. If there's a gap, then you need to, to cut it a little bit more. Um, here. Oh, it looks pretty good to me, dude. I mean, there's a yeah. super slight one, but I think that's that little flange that's on the, uh, you know, the edge yeah. there that they'll flare out. Okay. Don't worry about it. Then yeah, Sweet. you're good. Nice. Okay. All right. Now what? Now we are going to size the actual NeoPixel blade. Oh, not the foam yet. Not the foam. Okay. So set well, the foam. Set the foam's coming coming quickly. Set the polycarbonate aside. Set the po right. well. Keep keep it keep it within arm's reach. Oh yeah. So we're gonna need that. Yeah. Yes. Actually, okay. where's the phone? Where's my phone? Here's my phone. Drink break. Little vitamin water. Mm. So. Cilantro. You said you're still watching? Is that what you said? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cilantro. You're going to take your hand, handy dandy reality clippers? Um, <laughs> no. 
my not creality clippers or your, or your scissors or your yeah. wire cutters work too no and you're going to cut uh, uh, whoa, hey, there we go see me yeah you're going to cut a little tiny at the top corner. of the arrow uh mm. yes at the, the part you're going to be running and this is going to allow it to go up into the tip of the blade Yes, it's gonna, uh, you're going to be feeding this. So, so, um, what part can I not cut? Don't cut the resistor off. Just cut cut anything that's PCB. That's like the white or the silver so part. So this or the top, copper part. You see here, there's a little resistor right there. Look at me. Look at yeah. my screen. Don't cut the resistor off. It doesn't really matter right now, but it will matter later. But yeah, got it. That. Uh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't cut the resistor off. I think. Good. Uh, so, but I am going to be closer on. I mean, like I feel like it could be better, but. It's not doesn't even. matter. It's not even because that resistor is so. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Take your foam. Foam. Uh oh, where's my foam? Oh, my foam has my foam has fallen. Okay, got it. Sticker in the now foam. Now you are you're going to squeeze your foam. Squeeze it. You're gonna flatten it out a little bit. Okay. And you're going to put your LEDs in here. This part sucks. <laughs> just straight up because it doesn't typically want to go in there and you're going to yeah. have to squeeze the foam and get it in there you might have yeah. to pull it out and start over this is great I like to drag it sometimes I don't know This part makes me want to cry. I just cut into my foam. That's just You just great. what? Great. I just cut into the foam core. Nice. <laughs> keep keep in mind mine is a little different than yours because mine's a seven eighth inch blade, so it's tighter. Oh, that made it way easier. So if I go through and I do this. Yes. Give it a Give it some, give it some squeezes, give it some love. It's usually, it's usually the last like, um, the last like ten or fifteen percent that just really makes you want to like die. <laughs> well, this this is where it's riveting, everybody. I mean, this is where the magic is, you know, coming together. The uh, <laughs> you're you're putting the sausage back in the tube. <laughs> Carefully, oh Jesus! <laughs> Carefully, and then I, I gotta go do that. Your goal is to essentially get it to come out the other end. Yeah. So, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm trying it's to pretty squeeze. Intuitive. This. Yeah, it's pretty intuitive as to how to get it there. It just it's not the quickest or most fun process in the world. No, it just takes time. Right. Yep. It's. You know what this reminds me of. Uh, I could rant. I could rant about this. You know when you have like, like basketball shorts, or something that has the drawstring, and the drawstring breaks and it goes inside, yes. and then you got to fish it back out and find the freaking hole at the end to find your string again. That's yep. what this mine, is. Mine stopped moving, which is great. That's what this is. You're you're fishing the drawstring back. Could you make a fish line for these? I don't know. Maybe mine's mine's not moving, so I got to pull mine out. Yeah. My unofficial goal is to finish this before yours, because mine that would is, be the is literally smaller than yours. 
this would be so you know. the, the reason I say that is because it would be the only thing I in this whole project. Another hole. I have I resorted into my to cheating. Oh yeah. This Feel this could it. take me like this could take me a while. Oh no. Oh no, don't stop. Don't stop now. <laughs> what if I just cut a slit down one side? And then you'll see that and then in the blade. You right? might see that slit. Yes, you will. Well, this is terrible. <laughs> this is how far I have to go, everybody. This is how far I have to go. And I'm only halfway there on the tube. Oh my gosh. Did you have to do this on your other ones? No? Oh, because they're not NeoPixel, right? Oh my gosh. Steve doesn't didn't have a NeoPixel in his other one. So it's just a tube, right? Throw things at Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where we we cut and come back in three days. I might have to go out as well because mine has ceased to go in now so when that happens sometimes i like round the tip off even more and sometimes what kind of like i round the tip off even more and i kind of like edge it more nice you show off you son of a gun steve is being a jerk right now he pulled out that pixel stick he got from kr sabers yeah and he's 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 pushing it through his foam as we speak with no yes, issue. Because his is rigid. And he's done. And it took him about 20 uh, seconds. Yep. Thanks, Steve. Way to show up. You want to show everybody what that is? Hang on. Let me let me pull up the big camera. So Steve is with us. He's hanging out in the in the studio for this whole build. So uh, that's awesome, Steve. And Steve's a good friend. He's actually going to be building one of these as well. So he wanted to be here for the process to learn from Chris. And um, and he is building another one on the side as well. So he found something from, I think it's KR Sabres, right, Chris? And it's a, it's a pixel stick. It's more expensive, definitely more expensive to, to get. But as you can see, it's essentially pixels on a big PCB stick, right? Yeah. The top of it's already rounded. Um, it's very stiff, it, solder point. good solder points on the end there, and it literally pushes right into the foam. So if you are considering this and, and, you know, you don't want to go through what we're going through here, maybe I would suggest that. But what, what Chris told us though, is that one will not be as, um, battle ready because, you know, it's, it's a little more, uh, what's, it, what's it called, stiff. So it could be, could be a little more breakable if you're actually going to use this for combat. That I, also could be, I also could be wrong. I'm sure there's people out there who say, He could oh, be wrong. Oh, no, you're good. Got it. Yeah, people get in wars over NeoPixel blades, and I'm not going to pretend to be a NeoPixel blade expert. Right. I was going so good until I said I wanted to finish before you. And then I just yeah. fell on my face here. So I'll, I pulled I'm them on all my out again. I'm on my second timeout. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get it a little more manageable. What a show off. Steve's showing off over here. He's got his like out in out wired unwired no <laughs> I, th this before has put me into like boiling point by the way oh yeah yeah where i have been fuming <laughs> well i could almost see that happening because this is like super tedious i mean if you like slow tedious stuff who likes like, this who would like this well, I mean, this you like soldering on those little boards. <laughs> so. This is the worst. Uh, I wonder if I push Steve's through mine, if it'll open it up a little. 
Huh? I don't know. There's thinking right there, folks, as he just put it away in, in the box. Where's that foam you just had? The, the, the foam you just had. Or is that the what you bought? The Dang it. I was going to say, we should push your stick through this, and maybe it'll like open it up in here. And then I could push the strip better. Yeah, this, this foam is going to be different than yours, too. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's try your stick you on my You have to buy foam. a different foam for the KR stick. What? This might be thinner. Come on, baby. Work it. Mm. I'm the farthest. Progress is very subjective here, Steve. He asked me if I was making progress. Yeah, he was busy showing off and not paying attention to the struggle. I got to say right now, the struggle is real. This is this by is far good. As much as I suck at, I really, I, I'm not good at soldering. I'm the first to admit, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. I'm trying, you know, trying to just get it good enough so I can learn and make this thing functional at the same time. And this may be worse to me than the soldering. Yeah, this is definitely one of those things where you're just like cursing at the sky. Well, I appreciate um, not doing that. Though so I am, I am right here. I am right here. Like I only have this much to go, but in yeah, this world, that's like two days. I also keep doing this, which I don't know if it'll be good or not, but I'm doing it. Yeah, you just start doing stuff that just may or may not work. One pixel at a time. Sometimes it helps to like put it on a table and like flatten it out a little bit. Yeah, that's what I, I did. I was doing that with uh, the case for my exacto knife. I am so close. Yet so far, I mean, this this is how much I have left. I really don't want to pull this thing out again. Yeah, I'm in the same the same seat where I'm like I'm like I'm not pulling this thing out again. Oh god, it's so close. And it's not going in anymore. No. Oh wait. Pixel at a time. One pixel at a time, people. We got this. We're doing it. We're doing it. You can do it too. Woo! <laughs> All of the uh, positivity here, Chris. I have faith. And your tube is smaller than mine? Yes. I'm making a 7 8 inch size blade. 7 8 inch. What size is this? I don't even know what size it is. 1 inch. Oh, oh, your your whole your whole uh, blade is smaller. Yes. Crazy. Um, I'm done. You <laughs> son of a gun! <laughs> Damn you! Did you just cut them? You're like I'm out. No, no, no. I, I got my thing. I actually got it all the way down. Um, oh no! Uh, See by that? The way, if you thought that was fun, it's not done. Or at least for Tell me, me we're not yanking them out. No. Okay. No, you, you cut the rest of this with an X-Acto knife. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. Um, but now you're going to feed this into the tube. I'm still close Ooh. yet so far. I got wait, I got like another 30, 40, 40 minutes of this here. You do not. I hope not. I'm, I'm, I'm already cursing your name for this, but it's, it's worth it because I'm learning. What if my arrows aren't going up? They better be. <laughs> what the, I would turn it around, right? They just figuring that shit out. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we should point out this is Chris's favorite part, making Neo Pixel Blade. Oh yeah, I hate this piece. <laughs> Where's the tip? There it is. 
So, and, and if you're making one of these, there is easier ways to do this. That, that that's, um, NeoPixel stick thing that Steve has, freaking great. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, especially, my fingers are like Swiss cheese here. Um, I got polycarbonate on my arm. Okay. What are we going here? We're going hour and 30 an hour and 30 minutes to here. We will, we will be we will be done real soon, trust me. I, you're, I, you're thinking I'm going to get this in here without pulling it out again. I'm seriously struggling because this this is not awesome. But we're going to get it. I'm going to use Steve's as a fish stick. <laughs> We're gonna What'd solder the end. What'd you call him? I, yeah, I said I'm gonna use Steve's as a fish stick. I'm gonna solder mine to his, and then yank it through, and then unsolder it. <laughs> Steve you could do that. Steve's you leaving. Could do that. Is he? <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. Okay. Oh, it's not going anymore, man. I've been working at it for a few minutes. And it hasn't gone in at all. How much is left? Like that much? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> I'm getting there. This, Slowly this, is, this is how much I cut off of my phone. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I have a ways to get there. That much. Ah, uh, this is terrible. I shouldn't have been cocky and said I was going to try to beat you. Because now I'm not beating you. Yeah, because now I'm, I'm bored, you know? <laughs> well, you, now I might have to pull these out because they are not going in. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my. I'm going to try something new. It doesn't matter which way you push it in because up can be either way, right? So, um, I would just make sure the up, yeah, it doesn't matter that on that end, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, you know why it does matter because I rounded the other end. Oh, yeah, you want one end to be rounded, you're gonna cut the other end anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, you want a round. You want the rounded end to be the one that you're feeding. I hate naked blades. Sorry, the yawning. Come on, come on. What? Uh, I did when I pushed the other end in for a second, but I'm just, I'm, I'm going to talk sweet things to this thing while Chris explains to us what we're going to do next. Come on. Uh, after you're done with that, you're going to put the foam through the diffuser and that's not easy either, but it's not as hard as the last few. Yeah. You're going to get Especially. right here. So you're, the next thing we're doing, you said, is putting the foam into the diffuser? Yep. And I'm assuming you said we're going to be cutting this pretty soon. Yes. Yeah, we're going to be cutting that. We're going to be soldering some wires and then attaching it to the blade. Nice. I wonder there's got to be a good way like somebody's come up with like the genius way to do this. And I Probably was just thinking soldering something for the end and pulling it through isn't the worst idea, but yeah. I was just thinking Steve has it in a box over here. 
That's the genius yeah. way to do this. It is the more expensive way, full disclosure, right? So what? Um, while we're talking, like if we're gonna make this blade, what what does one of these blades like retail? If we buy all the parts. Um, um, I believe the the actual neopixels themselves are like twenty six bucks. Okay. Um, which is the most expensive piece? Uh, I'm I'm actually gonna find that out for everybody. Um, the the neopixels are are, are twenty six twenty seven dollars. Um, the accessory parts like the tip, uh, they depend on which which piece you get. Yeah, so the, the Neopixel themselves are $27. They need two of those. Um, keep in mind that the KR strips, the ones that Steve has, that's an $80 purchase. So, uh, Is it 80 what? Bucks for your, something like that for your sticks? I can't bucks. remember. I think it was on sale. Oh. What, what was twenty? Oh, were this were the pixel strips twenty dollars each? So the, yeah, they're twenty seven dollars each. So keep in and mind you, what what we're achieving for fifty seven dollars. Fifty seven dollars for what we're doing. Eighty dollars for what Steve is doing. Plus the polycarbonate, or is that with it? No, that is oh, yeah, not including the polycarbonate. No, I'm going to tell you this: save the eighty, yeah. save the thirty bucks. This part is not worth it. Thirty dollars. Well, maybe it. Maybe if you want to do something cool, Depends and you want to add you another, you know. But I am seriously. I am like six, eight inches here. Like I'm so close. Then yeah, keep going because then you can just cut the end off because you're probably you're gonna cut a little bit of it anyway. Yeah. Well, I got to get there first. Uh, oh shit. Let's not do that. Hang on. Don't mind me. I'm just breaking stuff while I'm working on the this. foam. The foam tube is seven dollars. Yeah. The one inch thin trans white polycarbonate tube. That's ten ten and a quarter. Okay. And then you've got another ten dollars for the the bottom and the top piece. So the blade the blade pieces itself are going to be $27, another $27 essentially. Got it. And then for the PCB with the resistor on it, that's $5. Okay. Get so the resistor at, on it. You're looking at 32 plus 57, 90 bucks plus shipping. Once you get the blade, you've got a different kind of shipping box, a little longer. Shipping a little bit more. We're so close. We are so close. Keep in mind, if you buy the blade from Bendu Armory or Saber Bay, you're going to be paying 100 to 110 dollars. I think it's 105 or 115 dollars. So if you want to buy a blade, I always say leave it to the people who do it all the time. Purchase yeah. from my friend Shane Moore over at Saber Bay. Um, or purchase from Bendu Armory. And he has them ready to go. He has them RTS. He has them ready to ship. So he just makes blades, and that's what he does. He does more nice. than that. That's 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 not correct. Shane Moore over at Saber Bay does a lot more than that. He also he's a part supplier as well. Um, he sells a lot of stuff. But I, I always send people over to Saber Bay to get blades. This so if you don't want to make this. I rate it is this is definitely um on the top ten things that I don't like. Yeah, it's frustrating. Um but I'm gonna get there. My finger is you. a little closer than I was when you started talking. Did you say you know you can also uh, get so one thing you can do is you can if you're very close to the end. You can take the end of it and like literally sponge it down and then force the rest of it through. Yeah. On like start uh, the other end. If you are if you are one of the ma the few people that is going to watch this thing whole, uh, I, I hope a lot of people do. But I could tell you 
watching me struggle with this for 15, 20 minutes, probably not the best way you ever spent. It's just the banter. That's what you're here for. Um, if I was <laughs> not filming, <laughs> if I was not filming, here's my exacto knife. Um, <laughs> if I was not filming, I would be using some words. Um, yes. And they would be strong. But you know what, though? I recognize that in the end, that makes this project that much more fulfilling. Yeah. Because, because in the end, it, it's like, man, I did that. Yes, it took this much work and it sucked. And this part is by far the worst part we've done so far, even with my bad soldering. And, and just but, know too that that um, the tighter your blade is in there, the more sturdy it's going to be. Um, yeah. You know. So it, it, it has a reason why it's like this. Yeah. Well, it's going to look better too, right? With this diffuser on there. And yeah. Yeah. You can't do it without any of this stuff. Then the and the Neo Pixel will be nicely. Nice you know, nice. secured in the foam. So when I beat my head in after I do this, it won't hurt the NeoPixel at all. Man, I am so close. I'm like, you know, that far. I should have opened my mouth. I was doing so good. And then I was like, I'm going to beat him. And I said it out loud. I didn't. You, you, can, you can straight up, if you're like, three inches from the bottom, you can straight up cut like three inches off. You think so? Yeah, a hundred percent. I cut off two inches and I have a 38 inch blade. You have a 34 inch blade. Well, so I, I cut like two some odd inches off. So you could cut like six inches off. Um, I appreciate the, the pity. Um, no, you, you really could. Well, I'm getting this in there now. So we're going to have to cut you it. Don't, you don't need to do the entire length because even I cut the end off. We're, we're all going to have, we're going to have to cut it anyway, right? Eventually. Yeah, but, but even when I was feeding it through, I cut like the last inch off. That's where that piece came from. Got it. That's what I was telling you. You said, did you just well, cut it? And I said, yes, I did. Uh, I threw it at Steve. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> Steve, he threw it at you. Steve is famous because of lightsaber videos where we talked about Steve and and I don't know if we've seen his face yet. So this this is this is how much I this is how much I cut off. <laughs> but no, there's no lights up front there. So Jim, I I cut two and a half inches of my foam off. Okay. So that that means you could cut over six inches of your foam. I'm close. So, I mean, I am, I am here. I want to show the struggle. The struggle, struggle's real. I'm this far away. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How close are you? Go to the other end. How close are you? He, Steve, Steve officially ruled that I don't Where need it. Where are you? I am right there. Cut that off. Just cut it off? Cut it off. At least cut, cut close to it, and then you can grab the end and pull it through. Trust me, you're not going to use it all, so you're you're pushing it through for no reason. Well, I think I think Steve's right. If we take my blade here and we put that part at the end, I am still longer. Oh, you can't see that. See. So, all right, I'm going to listen to the master. I the the Padawan does not become Jedi without listening to the master, right? Is that, yes. is that how it goes? I think that's how it goes. Cut it, I will. Or you get killed in the temple. All right, I got my skizzers. <laughs> yeah, too soon, too soon, yeah. Definitely too soon. Um, all right, skizzers. So you said just cut the tip? Yeah, just cut it. Okay. To the point where you can pull it through. It's through. Okay, ready? No, but yes. <laughs> now what? How much? 
pull pull the tip through uh more, farther than i have it now far farther farther than i have it now i think you're are you saying farther farther okay F -A -R -T -T -R. sorry i couldn't hear you so yes right there is good now what you're going to do is you can take the foam and you're going to yeah. put it into the diffuser oh no when you put it before you start crying <laughs> what, you, what, what you do is you actually turn the foam so okay. hold the diffuser and turn it and what it does is it twists the foam a little bit and it gets it through there great should I leave and the then diffuser? when it gets to the end, you just straighten it out so that the neopixel is not twisted. Shit. All right. Hang on. I got to get the tip off here, right? Or the, Take uh, the tip off, and then you pull the diffuser out. You should, so you should just be, you should just have your blade. No tip, you said? Take the tip off. Hold it. You want to set it to the side because you're going to use it really soon. <laughs> This this plug here, definitely in there good. Uh. <laughs> oh really? What I like to do is like take my exacto knife blade and I just put it in there and I just wedge it out. Ow! How about my fingernail that just broke? I got a better idea. Hang on. <laughs> oh yeah. Nailed it. I got tools for that. All right. Oh, I thought I had it out. It was. Ouch. For everyone at home, this was in there pretty tight. So you want me to take the tip off too? Take the tip off. Yeah. Tip is off. Push okay. Diffuser, diffuser out. take the diffuser out completely. Feed the foam core with the NeoPixel blade into it. Okay. And like I said, twist the foam core slightly as you push it in there. Okay. If not, you could what... lose the NeoPixel down into the foam core a little bit. So just be careful. All right. Don't... Yeah, it should go pretty easily, actually, if you do it right. And then you start twisting it. So twisting the foam core. Just very slightly. Oh boy. Come on. You get in if there. It's if it's really hard to push in there, don't force anything. Pull it out. I hate you. <laughs> do you want to watch me do it? I got it. I'm I'm getting this. Because I just did it off camera, but <laughs> You probably shouldn't have done it off camera. No, nah, it's okay. We're almost there. I am to here. So pretty close. Like right? I said, turn it. Turn like rotate the foam as you go yeah. in there. Rotate. After you get that in there, it's pretty much done. Like the hard yeah. part's like over with yeah you forgot about soldering again but that's the easy part now right yeah you should you should be able to knock that out pretty quickly <laughs> judging by the last two three hour videos this should go great what could go wrong um uh, man i am so close So this is not as bad, but I also notice you got to be careful. You don't want to cut the foam, right? You don't want to cut the foam. What do you mean? Meaning, like we, we wouldn't want to like cut up the the diffuser foam, the foam. How would you, you might, cut it up? I mean, like pushing this in. If if you were like doing this, they kind of get squished in there. It's not a huge deal, but yeah. I mean, you I know could what you're see. I know what you're saying. You could see it. Yes. Uh, not really. You'll be okay. If you fuck up the foam a little bit, you'll be okay. Fine. If you like fray it, you'll be okay. 
So how do you straighten it out when you get it in there? Or when when it's all the way out? I, I churn it. <laughs> really? So. Like butter? Once you, Huh? <laughs> you turn it like butter? Once you, okay, once you get it out the other side, once you yeah. get out the other side, you can just take both sides and just kind of shimmy it and then they'll straighten out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Once you get it out the other side, you I get like I catch it. Yeah. I catch, I catch what you're throwing. Yeah, right. Use a needle nose and yank it. You can. This is ruthless. I was doing your twisty trick here, and we are close. Um, like, this is a game of inch now. So close. I'm going to... Uh, Don't twist it too much there. Jeez, that just... looks like a lot. <laughs> Not like a corkscrew? No. <laughs> oh. Well, damn it. I thought that's what you said to do. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, want to watch me do it really quick i'm almost there okay like if i turn this towards you i could grab my needle nose would that help us yes i do that frequently all right just don't grab right onto the led just kind of grab that little tab at the end there and not on the resistor no, you're not going to grab the resistor anywhere. There's a little tab at the end. You should be able to grab it. Victorious. Okay. Good thing Steve's here. Okay, make me big. Now you take the extra piece of foam. Make me big. Throw, throw it at Steve. Don't forget about that part. So how do we straighten this out, you said? Make, make me big. Hang on. So I can show you the next step quick. Okay. I, I just straightened it out, ish. So, right here, this end. What, what you're going to do is you're going to to put your finger here on one end, and you're going to pull the LED to the point where, when you put this on, uh oh, when yeah. you put this tip on right here, it meets with the diffuser, and then there's no foam. It should be sticking out the perfect amount where it goes into that cavity. That's where you're gonna get first, right there. This is very phallic looking, but that's what you're doing. I don't understand. Phallic looking? What's that mean? <laughs> you know. Yep. So you're it's a, you're saying it's a type of cake. like this, like this. Uh, but but pull the LED down a little, or the NeoPixels. It, the so you need the foam up more there. How did you yeah. get it that far out? What? So the problem is now you got to push the foam all the way through the other end. Got it. Because look at how oh, I much I have out the other end right now. I got this. Remember, I have all this um, NeoPixel still at the other end. So I could, uh, you know, go back and the, forth a little the bit. The foam needs to be spanning the entire diffuser length. Yeah. It is. Okay, Much. Cool. Yeah. I mean, we got this much overlap here. Okay. So, so what do you got about two pixels there? I have yeah, a pixel and a half. Seven. Seven. Huh? Oh, you mean at the top? Yes. Yeah. Two, two pixels. And then one and a half. Two, two and one and a half. Got it. So, uh, I'm just going to hold the foam a little, right? And pull my LED back. And then it should be perfect fit at the top. And that's very important that it's a perfect fit. Yes. Because you want the tip to be evenly lighted, right? You want the maximum amount of LEDs in the tip. Evenly lit. Is that, is that the right? Yes. Well, you want as many LEDs or as many portions of the LEDs that will fit into the tip as possible. Right. I'm just trying to fix. You got. It. I'm pushing it down a little bit. So close. I'm. Uh, I'm like a half a pixel. Half a pixel here. 
this is something else, man. You, the, the crazy thing is you do this for a living and you know, you've done quite a bit of these, right? I mean, I, maybe not necessarily all the blades for every, I would say done. in my life, I've made like 50 neopixel blades. 50. Yes. You've had to go through that fun 50 times. Uh, I've done KRs probably at least a dozen. I still hate Neopix. There's a reason I don't like doing them. I hate I hate this process. Um, All right. There are there are lightsabers that are far more brutal than this, though. So. Yeah. But I I get to sit here and say I make lightsabers for a living. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Darn you. Nana nana boo boo. Stick your head in doo doo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm there. I mean, I am close. Let me see the is the end of it. Okay. If your if your blade goes down there and that's where it sits, then you're good. Um flip your diffuser on. over to this side. This is what I got. Oh. But the diffuser needs to be all the way up. Yeah, it should. It, they should meet. So I'm just it like, be like I'm so close yet so far because I'm be like, like an eighth inch or something. Yeah. And then but just anyway. neopixels exposed at the top. Yeah. Just like that. Like that. Like this, and I'm <laughs> ten minutes. This back and forth here, I tell you. The um, I, I'm gonna not lie here. The this is definitely the the ch most challenging part of this. And if I was gonna do this again, which I am, because I have another one, um, so I'm not gonna use what Steve got that pixel stick on that one because we already have parts for this, right? But if yeah. I'm gonna if I'm going to do this again, um, you know, and build like a complete buy, buy everything again, I probably would do the pixel stick because of this part right here. You know, what's crazy is that like, whenever I have to make a whole bunch of these blades, like it always seems like it's easier the second time around. And then sometimes it just goes right in. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it just goes right in. It's so infuriating. Some of them are like so difficult. Some of them just slide right in. Yeah, that. <laughs> I I wish we had one of those. Because currently, where are you where are you stuck right now, Jim? What's what's going on? Well, I'm just I got like an eighth of an inch too much into the a tip. foam. Yeah. Then cut. No, I'm sorry. Of of. Okay, there we go. I think I got it now. Boom, we're good. Okay. I had um, the foam was not the, the neopixel was sticking out too much still, and it was bothering me. And I wanted to okay. make sure. Yeah, you don't wasn't. want it okay. curled because then it'll, you'll see, you'll notice it. Okay, now that that's solidified, we're gonna go over to the other end. Okay. Give you're me going one to second. take your Exacto knife. I'm listening. And you are going to cut the remaining foam off. You're just gonna take your duck knife and you're just gonna go around the edge like that. Cut okay. the remaining foam up and pull it off until you have just a little bit of neopixel here. Cut remaining foam, pull foam off. Yes. Uh, while I'm while I'm replacing GoPro battery, hang on. So, and that's just at at the other end, not the tip end. Yes, the other end. We're done with the tip. Come on, turn on. Uh oh, I might have a bad battery in it. Give me a second. Whoa. Son of a gun. Look at that. Sorry, everybody. Must have had a bad battery. Try this again. Try this again.
here we go. Now we're in. I just want to make sure I can I can get the shot. Not that I'm getting great shots during this project, but okay. So go to the other other end, this end. Cut yep. the cut the foam at the end, like right at the end. Um yes, so where the diffuser is, you're gonna just trim the foam off. Okay. You shouldn't see any excess foam anymore on both ends. Just making sure. Sorry, I'm playing with a lightsaber while you do this. No, that you know that you deserve it. I'll get there. My like a yeah, I gotta wax on, wax off before I can play with it, you know. I just not not cut the NeoPixel part. That's the that's the part where I'm at right now. Correct? Yeah, yeah, just just don't dig too far in, just kind of trim the, the foam off. Yeah. I tend to I'm do the foam after the NeoPixel's in, just in case I, some people trim it before, but the, the foam tends to, sh to change shape when you feed it through. Yeah. And I don't know how much I need, so I, I never, right. I never take it off completely. Okay. Close. And like, th what's cool about this is this, this, this is what, like you do this all the time. You're like, oh, I'll just grab my exacto. I'll trim off yep. this. And I'm like, oh God, I'm gonna cut something. <laughs> just cut, just trim it off, yeah. So let me Next. know when you're done with that. All right, I'm I'm pretty much done with that. Don't put your exacto knife away. Okay. Keep it. Okay, Got so it. make me big. Make you big. Hang on real quick. Very demanding. Make me big. <laughs> All right. I have my exacto knife and I have this. Right? Mm -hmm. I am going to take my exacto knife and I'm going to split these two these two strings. Okay. I'm gonna peel them like a banana. Oh boy. And then I'm going to cut them as close as I can. Leaving the pads. You see these pads? You see those copper pads? Leave yes. those. Yes. Leave those? Leave as much of them as possible. Right? And the, you're going to see one of them is going to be pretty deep into the foam. And I'm going to pull it out a little bit and cut it. You want this to be as flush as flush with the, with the, the, pad, the neopixel as possible. And then I take the excess NeoPixels. Yeah. And uh, I put them in the drawer because I use them for other projects. But you may throw them at Steve. Yes. Man, those are my favorite instructions tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. If you're watching this and you're this far, you're awesome. I really appreciate it. And... During the next hot makes, uh, hashtag throw them at Steve. Um, whenever the next <laughs> hot makes is after I post this, yeah. Just, All right, so if you print bring... something, something fresh off the printer, throw yes. it at Steve. <laughs> throw it at Steve. Yeah. The support. So throw it at Steve. <laughs> so peel it like <laughs> peel it like a banana. Steve's like, why did I come? Um, peel it like We're a banana. To practice. And then and then. Help me out here. I, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. So I peeled it like a banana. I have a low all, side and a high side. All the way until it meets the diffuser and where you cut the foam. And then you're going to cut the, the NeoPixel strips like this as close as you can get it, but exposing as much of the pads as possible. The, the pads that are like right below it, the NeoPixel. Oh there's like there's like proper pads. It says yeah. G plus and like uh is that a d i think it's a d it should say d 
Okay, and you said one is almost going to be in there, huh? One's kind of in there. So if you got to pull the foam out just a hair to do it, do it, and then you just put it back in. You're going to pull it out a little bit here anyway. Um, man, this is scary. And then you want to cut it with my little snips? Yeah, the, the, the wonderful Creality Ender 3 snips. So, uh, I, my brain is not functioning. Okay, so I'm gonna go up in here. I'm gonna cut this with this. I'm gonna cut this right yep. here. Yep. But make sure you're make sure you're not cutting the pads off. You know what I'm talking about when I say pads? The copper pads that you're gonna solder the, to. The full pad or where the line is. Just leave as much of the pad, even if it's past the line. Okay. The more the pad that you leave, the easier it's gonna be to solder to. <laughs> Got it. So I flip the trimmers over so that it cuts like close to the NeoPixel. But leaving the pad. Does it? Uh, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I get you. The bigger the pad, the more room you're going to have to solder to it, which means the better solder joint you're going to have. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that one went okay. <laughs> Um, and then on the flip side of that one, that's the longer one. Yeah, it's Am still gonna... just as close as you can get it to the diffuser. So shorter than the other one, even? Or it should stick out by like one pixel, maybe, or no? It, yeah, it, it might stick out a little bit. All right, let me, let me do this, and then if I need to modify it, I will deal yes so here's what i'm what i'm trying to do here okay cry a little and then throw these at steve actually i'm not going to yes. throw these at steve because he might keep them and i want them so we'll throw them over there this time all right so here's what i got i have one that clearly I need to trim up because it looks like garbage. So I have one that's like that on the, the front and one yep. that's like this. Yes. And then, okay. okay, so now that it's extended out a little bit, we're going to start soldering. Um, okay. But there's two solder points, right? Or there's actually going to be six solder points, right? There's six. I just threw my phone. Is that your mom again? <laughs> Uh-oh. He's gone. He's like, that was a dumb joke. I'm out of here. Um, hey, hello? he's back. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. That was can, weird. You hear, can you hear us? Yes. I, I just finished my vitamin water. I'm going to throw it at Steve. Okay. Perfect. Got it. Nailed it. Oh, wow. Steve sounds like a trash can. Well, <laughs> I didn't I didn't hit him. <laughs> All right. Let me go here for a minute. So so I'm 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 watching you with bated breath here. Is that how it's the see, word? See this thing? Know. I'm gonna put a dab of solder on each pad. Oh god. A dab just a dab of doer? On each yep. little pad, each, uh, six pads, right? Yep. Okay. I can do that. Maybe. Nice little ball. I mean, I, I was pretty confident there, wasn't I? What the heck happened here? I was like, what yeah, I can do this. Okay, then, I'm done already. Hurry up. You just told me what to do, and then you were doing it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let me wake my... Um, While you do that... Um, you're also going to put a dab of solder on all the pads on the blade. So I'll give you extra homework. Okay. So I'll plan on that right away and let's do this. I don't I really need to do something different here, but well, well it's, it's close. Hopefully you can see this. Can you see this clear ish? Me? Yeah. 
you? No, because my phone is pointed completely down. Oh, <laughs> well, okay, so you can, but hopefully other people can. Yes. Um, By the way, if your soldering iron burns some of your foam at back, don't worry about it. Like I said, no one's going to see that. If it oh, burns just, some of the... I just ridged a whole bunch of stuff. Cool. So, we're heated up. Over there. Over there. Yeah. I, just, I cannot undo this. Yeah, I suck. How is that so bad? Because I'm not great at this. Not you, me. I just bridge <laughs> this like crazy. And I can't undo it. It's Why like, not? It's like one thing now. Did. wasn't cool so you and there's gonna be six solder points on this other one right yes can i pull it out a little yes you can give yourself some space to work with good good i have to solder down in here little little, little, little area down in here and maybe i should find a way to make this thing not spin on me but we're going for it we're going for it Son of a Steve. Steve is spinning on me. He's like, watch this. <laughs> Sucker throwing stuff at me. Oh. So a little dab on each pad. Yes. Yeah, I'm just breathing that in. Wow. This is great. Solder, they say. It'll be fun, he says. So, yeah, once you're done with that. Here, give me um, a couple minutes here. Um, I'm working well, no, on no, I, awesome. I, I realize I needed to wait. Yeah, I don't even Ooh. know. I, like, bridged a pad, and I'm going to have to fix it. I don't even know if what I did was going to work. Now I'm throwing Different. things. My computer's like so close. All right, done. It's okay if I can I do the six um, on the same side. Yes, yeah. that's what I did. Okay, so the back of the tall, taller one and the front of the other one. Yes. Did you say Tolerable. something? I'm, I'm off. I'm done. Okay. Wait so now you're after. now you're gonna take three or so you're gonna take small clippings of wire. Yeah. A pair of each, and okay. you're going to clip one end. So the red, the the positive, the negative, and the and the data line, and you're gonna you're gonna. To, to trim one end of each and you're gonna tin it. So time out. I need three clippings of wire. Well you red, need six. black and red, black, and green. Yes, and you just you're just you're only gonna need a little bit of wire. So make sure you give yourself an excess. I just cut like an inch, cut one end off, tin one end. Red, black, and green. Yes. And okay. I'm gonna get ahead of myself. Oh, I'm I need six just... of those. Yes, yeah, so two greens, two reds, two blacks. Got it. I'm going to get ahead of myself and solder this on so that you can see what it's supposed to look like when it's soldered And on. I'm going to go a little long on these, okay? Yeah, I, I do about an inch, and that's more than enough. Trust me. I always cut it. I'm going a little longer than you because, well, failure. Failure is a thing that sometimes happens. 
you've watched the other two parts, you've seen it both. Uh, I mean, and, and but you've seen us persevere too. So, all right. So you want me to tin all the ends of all? How do I say this? The one side of the ends of all of them. Yes. Got it. You can still see me. How you guys doing? If you're just joining us uh, here in the middle of the video, I would go back and watch the other uh, two hours and twenty minutes. Just we promise the middle of the video. We we promised that this wouldn't be a three hour video. Um, we lied, but that's okay. We're learning as we go. You know, that's what we're doing. And you said just a little of the end, right? Yeah, you're you're, you're creating a, a small piece of wire that you're going to be soldering. Right. Not not big. You're, you're chinning the end of the wire, right? I'm I, I'm uh, currently stripping them. Strip you strip and then tin them. Yeah, strip and tin. That's that's how I roll. The little that's my new song. Strip and tin. <laughs> I threw it at Steve though. Don't worry. All of those extra wires just thrown at Throw Steve. At Steve. Yes. Yeah. I just wanted to point that out. I didn't want to disappoint anyone watching. Um that I didn't throw something at Steve today. But again, if you're just watching, um, basically, I'm, I'm learning. We're learning how to build a lightsaber blade today. I'm, I'm, you know, it is, well, here's the thing. Chris is teaching us from across, literally across the U.S. Like, I'm, I'm in Wisconsin, he's in California, and we are learning this long distance. I mean, so... He's doing a heck of a job being very patient with us. And also, you know, you're going to be able to go back and watch this and build your own if you want to, hopefully. Yes, it's the whole point. Exactly. So that if you're so, I'm going to say financially inclined. Yeah. Uh, you can do it. Um, if you are even more financially inclined, I highly suggest you just having uh you just have Chris do this for you, but it's fun. Oh, yeah. If you, if you want the project, it's actually, it's, it's, it's been a very good learning experience. Oh, the uh, whole point of the video is so that you realize why I do this. <laughs> oh yeah. And especially today, why because, I exist. because today, uh, we had to stuff that stupid thing through this stupid thing, and that was stupid. Did I get that out enough? That was not my favorite part. Well, here's the real truth, too, is there's a good possibility that if you mess up on the, the soundboard, you're out. Um, $100. Yeah, Absolutely. You know, you you soldered something wrong. You short the board, like you just you just blew up a hundred dollars. It'd be the equivalent of dropping your phone in the toilet. Yeah, and if Chris messes <laughs> up, he's out a hundred dollars. So hundred mm -hmm. <laughs> percent. And that's happened. Here we are. I have a graveyard of soundboards. Do you? Um. Oh yeah. Oh yes, I do. I have a graveyard of Hang soundboards. On. We need a little cleany cleany. Got a little clumpy on the ends there here. Yeah, I just <laughs> I almost just threw the soldering iron at Steve. Wow. Not on accident. I mean purpose. <laughs> really what happened was I missed what I was going for here and I just am not great at this, but I'm getting there. And I would highly suggest if you do this, don't make it your first soldering event. No. This is not the uh, way to learn soldering. So you guys can get um, these things called breadboard. Yes. Uh, and we have one. I'll show you what empty, it looks like. Empty boards. And you can practice soldering, and you can practice soldering wires 
uh, laid flat. You could practice soldering them through the holes. Um, you can see what tips work better for your soldering iron. Um, you know, you can look up videos on how to get like the perfect little globs of solder. They should be like a nice little round. Yeah. Um, Here you go. You know, Here you go. You can you can look up what a cold solder is. What a what a. Uh, there you go. Yeah. You know, when someone says cold solder, like what a cold solder joint is, like it's important to know what that is. Um, soldering is a very useful skill. Uh, I can tell you that I've soldered to soldered wires together to a lot of my 3D printers. So bringing it back to Edge of Tech's um, whole thing, you know, I I've soldered wires and created funky switches that connect to my 3D printers that switch between nice. like lasers and stuff. And I'm I'm good here. You're good. Yep. Okay. So now, what you're going to do is you are going to solder those wires to the respective channels. Green is data, remember? Green's data. Uh, I okay. have white for the negative. That would be your black. black. And then red for the positive. Keep in mind, you see how they're, do you realize that they're mirrored? So the green's the center. And the, the, Follow the symbols on the blade. The water wire them to the respective channels. Just read the symbols on the blade. Um, so G is ground, which is negative. G is ground. Red is to the right where the plus signs are and, and green yes. in the center. Yes. And so you want to do this. You shouldn't have the red shouldn't the reds and the white should not be on the same side. as. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what yeah. you're saying. I catch what you're throwing here. And and All right. I, I am going to, to take a bathroom break while you do that. Yeah. That's you, okay. you deserve it. You you let me know. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right. We'll see what you happens. Have six, you have six wires to solder, so I know it's going to be a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh Hopefully they can hear me still, but sorry about that, everybody. I'm oh, it definitely is unplugged. Is it dead? Or is it powered on still? There you go. Hopefully, it, does it look like it's dead? Hello, I lost you. There we go. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. We'll keep watching. Um, anyways, I was saying I got six wires to do. Uh, I'm going to try to use the helping hands to do it. Hopefully you guys can hear me because he's not there to tell me you can hear me. So if this runs out of volume, I'm in trouble. Um, so I'm going to go green and the, no, wait, what was G for ground is black, right? Wow, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Mostly because I'm shaking. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Come on, baby. Maybe I'll have to get rid of those other wires. Thought this would be the easiest way. 
I know red goes over here and it's in our way. So I'm back. How are we looking? Um, I'm getting there. Can you hear me? No, I cannot. Hold on. You can't hear me? Hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah, can we hear you? Yes, I can hear you. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Not cool. doing good, but I'm here. Um, hang on. That's not working. What did I do here? All right, let me try that this way. Can you hear me still? Yep. So we had a, mi a minor mic issue. So I had to pause for a second. You mean Why just now? Or? Ordering. What? You mean just now? Yeah. Oh. Uh, all of a sudden it said my mic was stopped being recognized. And I don't know why. So I had to turn myself back on after I just explained exactly what we were doing. It was awesome. I don't know what I'm doing. But I can tell you it's not good soldering. Try this. All right, red on this side. I don't know why I have such an issue with wires. And maybe it's because I'm trying to film at the same time, but whatever. All right, red. Red is on, it looks like. Green's next. I just made, realized I made a grave mistake. You want to know what that mistake was? What? No, I did the... I did, I did the top one first. Oh, yeah, I did the bottom one first. Like a dummy. You can still do it. You just pull it up a little bit. Don't desolder anything. Yeah, see, I should have started at the bottom wires and then the top. And then the bottom one should be opposite, right? Yes. They're okay. just mirrored. Got it. So that means black, green, red and it means trying to get my soldering iron in here underneath these but if anybody has been following this series they know i'm a master not i'm a master pretender solderer So, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is crazy. We should have started at the bottom. I, uh, I didn't catch that drift, but I know now for the next time. Right, Chris? Now you know. What is it? The more now you know? Uh, with great confidence comes uh, great confidence. There you go. I think I got him. Let's see. Oh, yeah, baby. Got all six? Got all six. Okay. So now here's the, here's the weird part. So Oh, God. Here's, I mean, no. here's, a, here's a weird part you can play part. with a little bit. So I'm probably going to have to do it. Uh, but what you do is you go back and forth, right? So let me let me pick my camera up really quick. Oh, my buddy. There we go. So I'm here, right? I think I need a little bit more space, um, which means I'm going to have to push it through here. And as a matter of fact, I actually recommend you do that too, probably. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this through one pixel. Why? So, what? Why are you saying that? Like why? Uh, because on the other on the other end, you can't have the end of it hit hit the PCB. Oh. Right. So I'm going to push it through really quick. I'm going to take one more pixel off the end, which means I need to round it off. So I get my Exacto knife out again. Can't it's just the doing. way that I. It's just the way that I cut mine. You don't always have to do that, but. Um, it, Jim, you might have to do it um, because we did the staggered. Sometimes I don't do the staggered, and then therefore I don't need to do it. So what do you? So you're pulling up, you're pulling it through a little. On the bullet tip end, I am right. cutting off another okay. pixel. Yep. Pulling it through. Just one. A whole nother pixel. Yep. Okay. And then don't forget to to uh, to round it off. Now, by the way, I'm pulling it through another pixel. I'm not pulling the foam through. I'm going to trim the foam again. I'm going to trim the foam with my exacto knife. You just said you're not pulling the foam through. Nope, I am not going to feed the foam more. I am going so to. Why would you? Why would we trim the foam? Uh, because I, 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 you don't need it on this end with the wires. You just don't need it. All right. Let me, let me jump on the mine so I can kind of yep catch what you're throwing here. I lost so, my bullet. I don't know where my bullet tip is. Oh boy. That's the worst when you don't know when your bullet tip is. Okay. So I pulled it out one more pixel. Oh, I found so it. We got a floor. full pixel sticking out here like this. Yep. Yep. So then what, what do you want me to do? Cut you. Did you cut the pixel off already? No. So you're going to cut one more pixel off. Oh God. On each side, you're going to split it apart just like you did on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to remember how you did this. Use my exacto knife to split it. Okay. Oh, so pull them apart. Yep. Got it. And then I went back down here again. And that gives you all the space in the world you need with the wires in the bottom. So cut this off. Okay. And then cut a pixel off the bottom. Yep. Oh man, it's so scary. Yeah, it's close cut, huh? And then make sure you round it again. Make sure you round the, the tip and you, you make sure you test fit the bullet. And then you throw Ooh. the trash at Steve. I'm definitely, that, that is happening. No matter what we do today, we're throwing shit at stuff at Steve, I mean. I'm not great at this rounding thing, but. Oh man, my camera's sagging it. Happening. I always get nervous because I'm near that resistor thing. It's close enough. <laughs> cool. Right, let's see. And then you test fit it, and then you push it all the way back down and make sure that the cap meets with the diffuser, and you're good. Let me just make sure. Yep. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the ring, the PCB ring. Yep. And you're going to put it in the wires. Like this. Oh, that ring. Okay. Yes. Okay. I recommend pulling the PCB out a little bit. A little bit. 
so that you can get the wires a little farther. Pulling the NeoPixel part out? Yeah, just pulling the, the whole foam situation out, just, just a hair, just, okay. just a quarter of an inch. I'm going to now cut the wires uh, pretty far, about there. Oh my, let me see. So, which leads with the, about maybe half an inch, and they're all together. Man, you're scaring me. Mostly because you've done this a bajillion times, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to start over. <laughs> no. You're good. And then once I've cut them, I split them all apart. And I am going to strip the ends of them, just a hair, and I'm going to tin them all. <laughs> tin them all, he says. Tin all six wires. What time we got? Holy mother of mercy. It's okay. We are my watch, almost done. My watch died. So there's that. You so I, that's, a that's, what time? I don't even know. What time is this, Keith? 10 08, our time. It's okay. Your we'll dinner is like, soon. Your your uh, girlfriend is it's like, where are you at? Pretty much. So tin all tin all six wires. I got to get all of them stripped here first. Sorry, camera. Working on, I'm working on stripping. Big strippers here. Yep. Now, if you're doing this and you're following along, you can, I mean, you're going to be fast. Like if you're actually trying to do this, you're going to be fast forwarding. You're going to be like, okay, do this, do this, this. It's going to be much faster, hopefully for you than it is for us. Cause we're, you know, taking the time to learn and he's teaching and, 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 um, I'm fumbling and you're probably a better solderer than I am. <laughs> that part hasn't been actually too bad tonight yet. But we haven't got, you know, that far down. Or we haven't really done. We'll see. Much. It's coming. Yeah. I figured. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Now I just got to tin all these monsters. Oh, sorry, guys. And gals. I just want to make sure I don't have any frays. Okay. Now I'm going to figure out how to tin these because that should work. I'm not going to lie. I still suck at this part. Tinny. Really? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I do, but maybe it's just me. You are going to hate this next part. Um, awesome. Ooh. I love when you say that. Even I don't like this next part. What, is it pushing this stupid thing through the thing again? Because no. that was the worst. No, I think it's bad. I'm just, I'm just getting it started so that you can see. Moving. If you're watching and you're wondering why I don't have a uh, smoke eater thing, sorry. A smoke <laughs> eater? Oh, you mean like I do? <laughs> I don't know. I have um, actually a, something in the other room uh, that I haven't unboxed yet, so I can't use it. But it's there, and it will be used soon. Okay, I'm tinned. Okay. Now you're going to match the pads. So you're going to put this, I don't know if you can see, you're going to put this little wiring harness on there. Okay. For the love of God, do not forget to do this. Because if you put the PCB on there, before you put this on there, you're going to have to undo everything you did. 
I'm doing it so right you're now. You're gonna see what? I'm doing it right now. So you're gonna see this like this. Now what you're gonna do is okay. So every wire is in is in like a set of three, right? Um, uh, yes. They're in three pairs. Yep. Like this. The yep. data lines are in the middle. Yep. So separate them in the middle. The positive lines are going to cross like that. Do you see that? Hold on. Uh, no. Do you see how the negative line is going this way in the Uh, what? You see this? Hang on, let me. I'm I'm, I'm trying take, to. Let take, me let me just do this. So okay, if I'm looking at it top down, you went up with the bottom one. So take a look at your, take a look at your PCB. Yep. You'll see that the data lines in the center, and then it's negative is on the left and the positive is on the right, no matter what orientation you put it in. So you need to be able to plug that in like this. I gotta find my PCB, but... Uh... And so what you're gonna do essentially is, oh God, what a nightmare. Um, Okay, now I'm good. Move. move. Oh, freaking me. I'm an idiot. What? Looking all over for my PCB and it's on my helping hands. That's where it is. You're, you're okay. going to need your helping hands too. So you're going to want to bring that. I, I will. So I'm trying to I'm trying to see where you're going with this. So um So you could if you're in if if you don't understand, you could start off first. By soldering the data lines. I'm just trying to see what you meant by crossing each other. So, well, I'll show you. Just solder yeah. solder the data lines on first. To the center of each. Yep. Do they need to cross each other? No. Oh, gosh. Well, this is... They're the only ones soldering that Soldering sideways. Cross. You are soldering sideways, yes. We could try it, yeah. Let me move this temporarily. It's All right, like almost a, there. Somehow I have another bridge, which is cool. <laughs> I'm supposed Great. to be the professional. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? No. <laughs> um, here's what I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get the camera in here. Let me Dude. let me uh. All right. So this is what we got cooking. I'm right here. I'm going to bring my helping hand down here like this. And we're going to do the green to the center. Oh, my gosh. So I got to kind of do this sideways. I mean, that's how it's going to end up, right? Yep. Great. Once you get the data lines on, you'll see what I'm saying. about the fact that the wires need to actually cross to the other side. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe up like that. My mine is like floating in midair here. I also have a helping Steve. Uh, it's very, very helpful to have a helping Steve. The more you throw at him, the more he helps. Yeah, it's crazy. He's like Cookie Monster. <laughs> All right, so I just want you to get out of my way, you dummy. Okay. I am just, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and go in from like that, I think. Okay. This is, this is going to be great. If you're doing this by yourself, I'm sorry. <laughs> For your first time. And second and third and seventeenth. Um, yeah, Steve says that you can rent a helping Steve if you want. He only charges 
six payments of ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. Plus shipping. Yeah, plus airfare and. What? I'm out. He said no Amazon Prime. I'm out. I need my helping Steve like right now. Oh. Uh oh. No. I hope not. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I didn't cross the street. Oh man, the camera is not even catching this. This greatness that we're ensuing. Uh, it's not great, by the way. But all right. I see what I, I see what you're saying now. So I just need to get the positives on the positive, get the negatives on the negative. You see what I'm saying when I cross when you cross it? No. But I just kinda. But it's get positives on it's very important that the data lines meet at the ones that they're closest to, and then the positive from the other side goes to the positive on the other side. Oh. So the positives have to be on the opposite positive so, yes great okay this makes sense because when you're done yeah with wiring everything which i just did you are going to you are going to roll you are going to twist the wires and it's going to create like a springboard so that one is there so that one has to come up this one is there and that one has to come up this Negative is on the bottom, so that has to go down. Oh my god! While you're doing this, I'm gonna test my blade because I just finished. Gotcha. Because I think I might have bridged something wrong, so I just want to make sure I didn't do that. Jeez! All right. Um, oh, I just caught Groot. Don't go anywhere, Groot. Come on. You got what? A baby Groot took, took a nosedive. Yeah. What about him? He took a dive. He fell off. Oh, you <laughs> you have a Groot and he took a dive. Yeah. Got it. This is not my... This is kind of crazy, man. All right. So I need to make sure opposite subtract. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, oh God, how do I want to do this? So this negative. Oh man, this is like this is like a puzzle in here. And I wish I could get you a better view, but so basically, I got the the positive from that side there, but now I got to get the negative up in here. And that negative needs to go down in there. Yep. Woo. And it's yeah. and it sucks because you don't have a lot of wire. Yeah. It's that. Tight. That's why it sucks. Not because I suck at soldering or I need a I have a baby needle nose. Oh, where's my tweezers? My tweezers would be good here, wouldn't they? I don't know where my little guy put them. No. He might have made off with my tweezers. Where the heck? I'll blame him because he's not here. He likes to play with the tools. And I don't see them anywhere. Shoot. And maybe. Yeah, that might work. Um, so this wire needs to cross streams and go through here to show off. I don't know what you're saying show off on. I don't got nothing. No? No, my blade's not working. Uh-oh. I just I was just listening to the sound, so that's why I was saying. Did you cross streams? Sorry, um Kate. I gotta find out. 
Well, you said you bridged something, right? I thought I might have, yeah. So, is it possible that you did? Yeah, I gotta check it again. All right. So now we're kind of cooking with fire ish. Because I gotta get this one up there. Oh my god. Yeah, this is like, uh, uh, to me, if I knew how to spin these before I put this down, it would have been easier, but I didn't, I wasn't seeing what you were saying, you know, and if I had a million dollars, uh, if I had my stinking tweezers, that'd be so easier, so much easier, but Considering they're missing, I'm going to have to go with Neil Nose players. Where did I throw those? Of course. I just had, I just used those. Ah, right here. Let's see if this works. Come on. We're so close, man. So close. So far. Yeah. Like, so close, so far. Yeah, yeah. I don't have enough. Oh, there we go. Wow. This is, uh, this is, this is interesting here. <laughs> when you said you're going to hate this part, you know, I didn't have this in mind. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect yet, but Don't go. Don't you forget about me. I was too close to that one. I just wanted to make sure this is going to hurt. My finger's on the other side of this. Whew! Got it. Didn't even burn myself. Alright, I got that side. So now I got to I hope I got that side. Yeah, I did. So now I got to get this positive there and that negative there. All right. So this positive has to go here on this little tiny board here. Oh, not looking good for me. Uh-oh. Is it just that little board, you think? Huh? Is it just that little board, do you think? The, the board. last board you did? Or is it something else? Uh, I think I broke something. Uh-oh. I think I accidentally melted something. Happens. I, nothing I can't fix. I just think that I, I melted something. Because one side of my LEDs work, the other side doesn't. Oh. Man. If you, if you, would you believe if I told you I have one more solder? I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't, but <laughs> I, just don't, I just don't know how to get it to the pad. I have a helping Steve, and he's helping me spin this thing around and hold it. And this is much, much easier than trying to. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Trying to figure this out on on my own. But so, if you have a helping Steve, I highly suggest he helps you with this part. And and or you understand before you do this, because I could have crossed these wires and it would have made it a little easier, but I didn't understand what I... I didn't understand the assignment why, yet. yeah. And it's not necessarily why, it's just what what we exactly were trying to accomplish. And I want to be careful with this. And if it, this, it's just this last negative, I can't get it to the pad it needs to be at. 
because the wires are so small, right? I mean, they're so. Yeah. And then the, you have on top of that, you have that stinking cap floating around in your fingers. If you want one of these, they're awesome. I mean, it's going to be amazing when it's done. But if you don't want to spend nine and, hours, whoops, you know, then hire uh, hire hire Chris to do it. God. You know, although I like I like I say like I am not the blade expert, so this video is almost like kind of interesting because like I am not a professional at making blades. I mean, I already failed yeah. like right now on my own blade. Yeah. So. So you you, I, mostly, I, put the, you mostly put the um, the hilts together. There are the guys who make the blades. They're they're talented guys. I mean, they're just it's just it's it's like a whole other art form. And like I can do it, you know, I can make yeah. the blades, but like. It is. This you is. You know, there's a is, lot of people out there who make blades and they don't make like babies. Nice. So go use one of them. This so, this part is not my favorite. It's not my favorite so far. Yeah, I'm just not the best at making blades. Like I said, I can do it. I'm trying to fix my mistake. I made an oopsie. Okay, let me see how that works. Can you hear me, Jim? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh oh. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear okay, me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> breaker, breaker, one nine over. I think I'm done. You think you're done? I think I'm, I think I got it. So what you do is you pop the PCB into that little PCB holder. Oh God. Okay. Let's... Pop the PCB into the PCB holder. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of twist, twist the wires. Yeah. So that it's kind of like a little spring and it should meet with the diffuser. So make sure you line the foam back up with, you know, how it should be. If you pulled it out a little bit, line it back up again. Uh, oh yeah, pull the pull it back up. Yeah, like line it line it all back up again. Okay. Ready? Uh, hang on, I'm I'm gonna get my tip and measure it. Oh, thank you, Steve. I really appreciate that. I I highly suggest to helping Steve if you're gonna do this. Okay, so we're lined back up there. This is what I got here. Let me get this crap out of the way. I have this. Yep. Okay. And then you have the tip off the other end, right? Um, yes. Okay. Like this? Uh, the tip should be not on the blade at all. It's, it's not, no. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slide the whole blade back down, like the uh, polycarbonate tube, the heart, the outside part. Okay. So let me, uh, let me change cameras here. So... What we're gonna do is put this in the polycarbonate. Yes. Right? Okay. Leaving the flush end at the bottom. Um yes, the part with the connector at the bottom. Okay. Got it. And then I'm guessing we're gonna push it in so that that um cap is in there yes are we going to glue this or no we are we're going to use a little bit of super glue and we're going to lock it into place should we test this first before i glue it you can test it so what i have let me just come back over here i put the end on like this there we go end is on we're flush we got a little bit sticking out here, and that's where our tip is going to go on. Yep. Like that. Okay. Then to test it, I believe the idea is to, to put it in the blade, right? Is that, is that what I'm doing? 
You can touch it directly to the blade tip, yeah, and you can test and make sure it turns on. So uh, I'm just now that I like now now that I think about it, I think you need to change some settings because wasn't your Neo Pixel only going like five pixels up the blade? Yeah. Well, I, I don't to, know. sure. You, you might, might have to, to change your, settings, but that's next video. Yeah, you're gonna need to do that now, or else you're not gonna find out if your blade works. Do I need to shave the bottom of this? Does it not go in easily? It's not going in at all. Into the hilt. Yeah, you might need to sand the bottom of it. You can use a you know, the Dremel wheel. The Dremel wheel. Yeah, it, there's like a little flange. Yep. The, and that part's not going in to the hilt. Yep, you can put the little Dremel wheel on there. Uh, get it to go. Where? You just like take the Dremel and you just kind of shave the end of it. Uh, the end of the tube, yes. Yes. Okay. Like the end of that flange. Um, crap. Should have tested it. I, I, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm real nervous. Because I have all that there, and if I slip, it's over, huh? Dude, I cannot get my blade to work. Can I sand this? Instead? You can sand it with your hand, yeah. I think I'm going to do that because I don't trust myself with a Dremel. I cannot believe I cannot get this to work. I do not know why. Wild. This is wild, dude. I, I I probably would be much faster with the Dremel, but I don't. What are you much. afraid of undoing? Cutting what I just because it that thing is pushed into the end, right? I'm afraid that I'm going to cut into it or something or ruin the bottom of this after I just did all this work. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, fuck it. I mean, darn it. Excuse my language, darn it. So basically, this video, I mean, we're so close to getting this to fire. If this fires, then we're good here. We come back, and we're going to do a live stream next. Yep. And we're going to program the blade. Ow. I just dropped my soldering iron. <laughs> nice. What? Okay, I burned myself on the daily. <laughs> it is, but it's further down, yeah. Infuriating. Point, so know. angry. I don't know. I don't want to. I wonder if I could just use the like so the, the the sanding wheel and like. I am my freaking. Angry nervous about this but My install is starting to get ugly your install is getting ugly one side of my blade w will not light up just period won't do it is it backwards did you check your arrows yeah i'm staring at it right now <laughs> I'm, I'm actually i'm actually beginning to think that i have a bad bad blade what do you think? This one? Yeah. Or like this, I could do a little one. Like that. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, wait, there's a little one like this. Like that. Either one of them. All right, I'm going for this. We're, we're I'm busting out the Dremel. I'm going to cry a lot of it if I, if I ruin this, but, oh, you know what I need? I need to, there's so much polycarbonate on this thing. It's everywhere. Gosh, I do not know what's happening here at all. Yeah. 
Um, maybe it's a bad NeoPixel. I don't know. It's crazy because I haven't done anything wrong. It's just not lighting up. It's just what? It's, it, I haven't done anything wrong and it's just not lighting up. Weird. So we hope that mine does, right? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. This just this just shows that even a uh, skilled installer can have hiccups once in a while, right? Very true, especially with blades. Well, sometimes right, even I mean I just had a saber recently where like the board was bad, and I spent the entire day trying to figure it out. Just and it was the part. I thought I did something wrong, and it was the, it was the part. So at the point I'm at right now, Jim, I am doing like weird wiring just to see if it works. Okay. Like On I'm, yours. I'm I'm weird wiring it up in like a weird way. <laughs> Is there any don't do you have a like a negative positive tester? You could just you know wire tester? I could, yeah. The problem is, is like that might pop up, but then I wouldn't know if like the data lines working properly. Please work. I cannot hear him. Sorry, man. Not, Give me one second. It's not working. I am just. Why would you not work here? Why? Why is it not working? Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Oh, I think I got it. Now I need to take out that set screw, which is a little Allen wrench, right? Yes. Oh, great. All my little Allen wrenches are... Oh, yeah, yeah. Duh. You know what? Steve saves a day again. Steve brought this fancy Allen wrench over. Looks like this. Here. Fancy Allen wrench. Yeah. It looks like a little lightsaber as well. See? Like a hilt. I'm in. I'm in. Now what? Power it on? Turn it on. Test it. All right. Listen. This is a culmination of freaking 10 hours. Probably, yeah, but we already know that your blade isn't set to the appropriate length. So. Probably 11 hours of, of stuff. Okay. Your blade isn't set to the appropriate length, so don't expect too much. Yeah. So... We're just hoping that this thing fires in the blade itself. Because if it fires in the blade itself, then we know that we wired it correctly, and then we need to program it. And that's what we're going to do next. Not in this video, but next. All right. You ready? Yep. I mean, it's not going to light up. At all? No, because you got to change a number. Did you see a little uh, bit at the base? I don't know. Dang it, I thought it would come up a little bit. Put the put the SD card in your computer quick. No. Put the SD Dude, card I, in the computer. I'm like totally stumped where I'm at right now. Remember like, I had to I, do a new firmware and config. Um, I have I have straight up run out of ideas <laughs> on my end. Uh -oh. Like no kidding. Okay. 
We're getting the SD card. I'm going to drop it in the computer. The goal of this is just to see the blade fire, right? Yeah, so drop the thing in your computer. Go open the config file. I'm sure for, you're familiar with that from the last video. All right. Can right? I can hear you. Okay. All right. One second, everybody. I'm going to the config file here. Maybe. If I can find my cursor. My pointer. All right. Um, one second. I'm just going to make this much bigger. Okay. The uh, config.txt, is that what I'm looking for? Yes. I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to cry. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Change LED strip to 135. Mm. Okay, it's set to 10 right now? Yep, that's why. Okay. I'm in. Don't what else? To hit save. What do I need to do to make? Remember, only five of those eight LEDs were lighting up. Yeah, that's what we're doing, dude. Okay, so that's all I need to change is LED strip to one thirty-five. Yeah, and strip power is set to one 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 because the LED the neo pixel was turning on earlier. Yep. Anything else? Nope. All right. Uh. Save. I'm, 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 man. I'm hoping. After last time playing with this, I'm hoping this is uh, as easy and easy. To do. Uh oh. Oh, I have the config open, don't I? Hang on. How did that? Uh, how did that work, Steve? Did you see that? All right. Cool. Make sure you Hold eject it. You ejected it, right? Yeah, I did. Hopefully, it saved it. All right. It's saved, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember. I think it goes that side down. And, of course, I taped it in here pretty good. So I still have a little bit of work to do in the back end of this thing, but I'm getting there. Yep. All right. I'm ready. 135. Moment of truth. Yeah, I hope that lights up. Got nothing. Well, as you can see in the end, it did not work. Um, we think it's some connection between the board here and the board in here. I'm gonna have a video call with Chris to try to figure this out. But the next thing we're gonna do is a live stream. We're gonna have some fun with this thing. You guys are gonna be able to customize colors, stuff like that through chat, or we'll, we'll figure out some way to fun. We'll figure out some fun way to do it. So if I put the battery, battery in like that, and then I fire it up, we have sound. We have lights inside of here, which means those connections are good. Uh, we just don't have anything when we put the blade in. So if I take our blade and I push our blade all the way in, this should light up. We're getting nothing, um, nothing. And I don't know why. So we're gonna troubleshoot that uh, between now and the next video. We're gonna get it figured out, but thanks again to Chris from Sinister Props. I really appreciate it, man. You are a trooper. This will be like the third three hour video that we've done. Um, and we're to this point, we are so close, so close to getting this thing up and running. Uh, I hope it's helping. And I hope anybody out there who's watching this that got this far, is a little bit entertained and learned a little bit. Until next time, check out that video right there. <laughs>